Hello, hello everyone. Hey, welcome to the stream. I'm so glad you guys could make it. Uh, we are continuing our playthrough of Sly Cooper the Thievius Raccoonus today. We're on, I think it's the third boss, if I remember correctly. I think that's what we've made it up to now. Kind of the spooky swamp area. I remember I looked it up like last week, how many bosses there are in total, but... I admit I've already completely forgotten, so <laughs> that's good then. I also forget which areas we've done so far, so that's good. Uh, okay, I vaguely remember this one, because I remember going around this uh, fence here to kill this dude. Because I was confused for, for a very short moment on how to do it. So, yes, we got that one. 100%. Well, not the time trial, but meh. <laughs> Don't care about the time trials right now. And then, I'm pretty sure we did this one as well. Could be wrong, though. Nope, did that one as well. Okay, so that's two. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> Whatever, dude. Take our first death of the day. That's fine. <laughs> okay, so we know we did those two. Did we do... Does it tell us how many keys we have? We do have three keys, so it might be time to just go through here. So that looks like it needs three keys. But what about this area over here? Whatever all of this is. Seems like a lot just to get to a level. We did do that one, the Dread Swamp Path, okay. One, two, three. See, I can see so many more though, but maybe they're like locked behind that door in some way. So let's just go ahead and open up the door, I guess. Right here. See what uh see what this gives us access to. I just I feel like we're missing something here though, but I don't know. Oh, hi there. Oh, they're going to open up a couple different paths for us. Dope. Okay. Are you going to unlock that, like, purple haze shield thing over there, too? Oh, never mind. Okay, that door doesn't stay open. But we have access to that area over there. I'm still a little confused on how we get through this. Do we need to, like, what power-ups do we have again? Because I've forgotten, like, everything. We have mine, slow, roll, dive, decoy, fast. So can we just, like, dive through it? No. <laughs> I bet you there's some way to clip through that, but I don't think that's the intended route, though. Oh, I wanted to look at one of the spiders with the thing because we get information. Nasty Charlotte is their name. Arachnid Descendium. Enjoys bungee jumping. Aw. <laughs> Uh, I was wondering what they would have that they like to do. If I could unlock the cauldron's lid, I might be able to thrash their production and build up enough steam pressure to get launched up to Ruby's Skull Temple. Okay, sounds like we've got a plan. To get around that thing, try moving in the shadows made by the masks so that the guards won't see you. Gotcha, gotcha. So we have to... Unlock all the things to drop that, which will build up pressure to launch ourselves all the way up to the top of the tower. That doesn't sound scary at all. That should be fine. But no, like all the other characters, though, if you look at them, they have, you know, things they like to do. Like, uh, play pool or cook or whatever the case may be, you know? But they're all humanoid in nature, so I was wondering what the hell the spiders would have, what they're, uh, <laughs> what they do in their downtime, you know? I was wondering what would be up with that. Okay, new level for us here. What do we got, man? Gotta collect all the things, of course. Oh Most God. of the power ups have proved to be useless, but. For some reason, I don't think they really try and keep up with the uh, local health codes. I mean. Feel free to prove me wrong on that, but like you said, 
They do literally have a waterfall of bones and shit. I wonder if it's possible to just... No, that's probably all water. Say, to just, like, dive through there in such a way that we can go straight to the end of the level. Not that we'd want to anyways. I'm trying to collect all the power-ups. Okay, those hurt. <laughs> Wait, does this not count as water? Or we might have... We probably only had one hit. So whenever we touch the, the spiky spikes, that's probably what actually did us in. Because we got the, the power-up. That was one of the ones that was actually useful. We got the power-up that uh, lets us not instantly die whenever we touch water. Can't help but notice there's a safe up there, bro. I kind of want that. Do I know why? Oh, shit. Sorry, Noodle. Maybe I'm probably still streaming to YouTube. So it's going through the the whole list <laughs> of YouTube videos. I closed the app, so I thought when I closed the app, it would automatically uh, disconnect. Try it now. You should be good now. Got ourselves a safe. We do need to go back through this stuff, though. Like, how do we get to that one over there? Because there's a safe over there that we're going to need to break. But, like... These little spiky bits hurt us, though, so we can't just jump over there. Are we going up top? Yeah, it looks like we're going to end up going up top. Because there's stuff right above us there. So maybe we can just jump down. Once we get to that point. Oh, God. You don't seem very nice. Oh, God. Oh, no, the, the thing. <laughs> okay. Uh, Do we just go forward? I, I think we just keep going forward. I didn't expect somebody to be throwing flaming heads. Was that their head? <laughs> I thought they were just, like, throwing random skulls at us. But no, I'm pretty sure that was straight up their head, dude. Okay, then. We have a horseshoe now? I think we do, yeah. Okay, still can't get up there yet. Later in the level. Keep climbing the bone tower. <laughs> Gross. I want to know how they're collecting so many bones. Like, what are they doing to generate... How many bones do you think is coming over that waterfall a minute? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. A lot. <laughs> are they just like recycling them? Are they are they at least being a, a, little, a little conscious of the environment in that way, you know? They're taking the bones once they get to the bottom, bringing them back up to the top, just for dramatic effect. Got to have them going over the waterfall one way or another. But honestly, supplying that many bones, I feel like that would just be cost prohibitive if nothing else, so. Recycling's probably the way to go. Oh, God. No, no, what are we... <laughs> uh, okay. There must have been spikes on that, too, or something like that, because... We took some damage there, dude. That led to us falling down. I was trying to jump, but I couldn't, I, I'm assuming, because we were too busy getting our ass kicked by some random ass spikes or something. Try that again, maybe? I mean, I see, like, some of them have spikes. I'm probably just blind. I'm sure the one that we hit did have spikes, and I'm just an idiot. Okay, I'm surprised we weren't seen there. It looked like we were in the, the path of that spotlight to me, but hey, I'll, I'll take the not being seen. That's fine. Not going to complain about a blessing. Okay, now we got to get back around without getting hit with any of the spikes. Can I make that jump? I can. Dope. 
Okay, I don't know if we can make that one. Oh, dude, that was close as hell. But we're good. We Gucci. How do we... How do we deal with that guy? Can we, like, swing this thing around to... Oh, no, but we can probably go up. That's freaking smart, dude. I want... I guess we probably could use the decoy, too, but... Got him. And at some point, we still have to jump down there. What's annoying is it doesn't look like there's any quick way back up. So after we jump down there, we're just gonna have to... Kind of go through the whole thing again. I mean, we won't have to collect anything this time, so it'll be faster, but still. Be nice if they had some sort of... I don't know, rope or something that we could use? Maybe... Maybe when we grab this, it'll pull down? No. Damn, dude. Careful of the spikes now. Zombie servitude? I think I'll pass, dude. Thank you on that, though. I appreciate the job offer and everything, but, uh... I'm already pretty well employed here, I feel like. You know? The the thieving business has been doing me well so far. I actually don't know how we earn any money. Because it seems like the only thing we steal is our own book. <laughs> but, hey, maybe, maybe we have some wealthy benefactors or something backing us, you know, helping us out a little bit. Making sure we have the, the funds to keep up our life of crime. <laughs> Which so far has consisted of, like I said, stealing back our own items. And taking down some of the world's worst criminals. So, yeah. <laughs> Not even positive we're a criminal at this point. Sounds an awful lot like we're a public servant. And Carmelita Fox, or whatever the hell her name is exactly, is just kind of... Got a personal vendetta against us or something? Let's go. Oh god. Feel like I need to sneeze? Nope. Maybe. Oh, it burns. Nope. Okay. I think we're good. I'm crying a little bit, but I think we're good. Oh. Bless you. Never mind. <laughs> well, thanks for the... The attempted bless, I suppose. Oh, man. You'll take it back? <laughs> Seems kind of rude. Okay, let's go ahead and get the... That. But then we gotta jump down here. See, like... Is there a way back up from here? Or do we have to go do the whole thing over again, again? We might... No, I don't think we can, honestly. I was gonna say we might be able to jump to that one over there, but... Even that looks too far. Yeah, and that one's too high for us to... to get up to. Hmm. I guess what we probably could have done is, like, jump from here over to there. So that we would have only had to backtrack once. But honestly... More than that, I feel like they could have just laid out this level a little bit better. Since there's seemingly no way to get up to, like, that platform or whatever, uh... Without going through the level, they could have just added one of those ropes that hang down or... An extra platform or something to let you jump back up. Would have been appreciated, that's all I'm saying. It's fine. We get a <laughs> we get to watch Sly shimmy along these bones again, man. That's what everyone's here for, after all, right? I'm just surprised we haven't missed a jump up here yet and died. This last one's the scur scurry one. 
you're late, but you're here. Hey, Rue, what's up, man? Glad you can make it. No worries about being late. As I always say, I totally understand. People got lives and things. Can't be here every moment of every day. <laughs> That's fair. I just appreciate you trying, dude. You were in the shower. What'd you miss? Not a whole lot. Uh, a lot of backtracking so far in this level is what I was just talking about. Like, the levels... I like the design of it so far, except for, yeah, you really are backtracking a lot. I probably could have saved a little bit of the backtracking if I had done things in a slightly better order. Like, just went a little bit farther forward before backtracking the first time, but still. Like, what I was just saying is, you have to, like, go to this platform right underneath those ropes there. I don't see why those ropes didn't just extend down farther or something so you could climb back up afterwards in order to collect everything, but whatever, it's not that big of a deal. It's a short backtracking area, at least. This is the sort of all the disgusting green soup. Is soup really the right word? When I think soup, I think of something edible. And uh, this lump doesn't exactly make me think edible, dude. Oh, good, we got another... another Bonehead, bro. Oh, shit. Did we miss a... We miss a candle somewhere. There it is. Is that all of them? Oh, God. Thank goodness we don't instantly die when we touch water, dude. We would be... <laughs> we would be completely screwed if we hadn't taken that power-up or, or found that power-up at one point. Die, turtle, bro. I like the design of that. Oh, shit. It was on fire. <laughs> hey, guys. Did you know fire hot? Don't jump in it. <laughs> oh, shit, dude. There we go. Now we good. Going for a little slidey slide? I think we are. How much you want to bet that I'm going to miss some shit? Oh, God. Oh, God. No! <laughs> shit! Is it going to count us as being up top or as... Yes! Let's go! I'm so glad it counted us as being all the way up here. <laughs> and we got the safe. All right, what's the code, dude? Five seven one. Okay. I've mentioned before that I've never played the other games in the series, but I really do hope that they like at least tell you what the clues are in the other ones, assuming they kept the same mechanic. Wait, so we can just make time go slow forever, as long as we're holding down the triangle button? That sounds more annoying than anything, to be honest, but, like... I mean, I guess it could be useful, and, like, if there's a, a particularly bullet heli section or something like that... Let's go. So how many keys is it usually per level? Six? I want to say it's about six. So we probably have two more in this one. Hi, pop friend. <laughs> God, I forgot how bad the frame rate was in this section. Good old PS2's having trouble keeping up here, man. Got to go give it some head pats. Tell it we love it. What is that? Is that an enemy? No, that's a bike. Oh, God. Is this another driving section? The last one went so well for us. <laughs> Down home cooking. Wait, can we... Okay. Can we kill this dude and then get rid of that stupid shield? It'll just make it easier to get back here later on should we need to. Okay, that's also the platform to take that down. But these two candles, maybe? Yes, let's go. Okay. Hopefully that saves that we broke those. So that if we, like... 
I don't think we're going to game over, but say we game over or some shit. It'd be nice if we could just come straight back up here instead of going all the way around that carousel. Of lights and whatnot. Okay, smack the chickens, leave the the roosters, the bomb totem roosters. Are they all gonna come out of the? Oh no, they just okay. I thought they were gonna like come out of the pots or something like that, like a game of whack a mole basically. But no, it's it's. Oh god. <laughs> I don't know if that was a good use of the slow time or not, but. Damn it, we'll use it. Now you're thinking it's chicken soup? Chicken soup does sound fantastic. Oh god. We're dead. Wow, okay. Maybe we need to... Uh... How do we avoid that? Oh shit, we only have one life? We might game over. I thought we had more lives than that. Oh, I was thinking of Spyro, dude. I've been playing Spyro too. I actually just finished it up. Uh, yesterday or the day the day before yesterday, I think. But anyways, I, uh, I have like... 30 40 lives on that or something that game is incredibly easy uh honestly enjoyable i really like it but it is super easy chicken soup does sound good though i'll give you that too honestly just food sounds good i'm pretty hungry i had my leftover soup from a couple days ago this morning when i because I, I woke up at like 10 30 damn it he just popped out of nowhere and killed us uh, <laughs> I had some leftover soup that I made a couple days ago. So I ate that this morning when I woke up and couldn't go back to bed. Like, couldn't fall back asleep. But, uh, then I did finally end up falling back asleep and got up at, like, 4 o'clock. But, of course, I had to come up and stream. So I was like, dude, I just need something quick to eat. So I just ended up making a can of food. A can of beefaroni, which, don't get me wrong, man. I love me some beefaroni, but it's not the most filling thing in the world. Oh, God. I think Noodle said she's going to make me some uh, grilled cheese and vegetables, though, for... Damn it. For dinner. Why am I struggling with this section so much, man? Those little platforms are hard to jump on. <laughs> going to have soda on the side? What? What does that mean? Is that a TikTok or something? I feel like that's probably a TikTok or something. Depends on the soda. It's a song about grilled cheese and soda. I died before that one even blew up. <laughs> What's the song you're talking about? Oh, chicken wing, chicken wing. Something macaroni, chillin', hot dog and bologna, chillin' with my homies. That song? That song says something about about chicken noodle soup chicken noodle soup with soda on the side no nah, i don't i don't either either i don't remember that part or i don't know that song <laughs> possibly both <laughs> not the song you just thought of it okay good i thought i was going crazy for a moment man <laughs> like how many food songs are there I mean, hey, food's wonderful. If you're going to make a song about something, it might as well be that. Thank you, game, for giving us a free fucking horseshoe. Because <laughs> apparently I can't jump on these small-ass boxes of crates of eggs to save my life, literally. Holy God, I thought we were dead again. So we are rapidly running out of time. 15 seconds. 10 more. Come on, chickens. I don't have time for these ones that are going to blow up, dude. Seven more chickens. I'm not going to make it. Where are all the chickens hiding? One more. Two more. Oh, my God, dude. <laughs> don't know what soda is, though. It's pop. I agree. Wait a second. Hold on. No, stop that. Go. No, not that one. Dumbass. 
roll. Our roll hurts things now. Would it be faster to roll around and, and hit them all? No, definitely not faster to do that. Restart level. We wasted too much time on that. Okay. You need, like, a gun. <laughs> a bow and arrow. A gun seems a little unbecoming of, of Sly. But I could see Sly using a, a bow and arrow, you know? He's got that, that stealth archer thing going on. He could, he could pull that off. Damn it. We already wasted our thing. That's good. But we are halfway done with, with the, the murder of chickens. Has anybody played RuneScape on here? For some reason, that's, that's what this has got me thinking of. Being in, what's the first town? Lumbridge, I think it is. Endlessly murdering chickens for, for feathers and your first couple levels. Like, <laughs> no, really? I mean, I guess you are a little bit, uh, I almost said older, younger than me. RuneScape was a lot more popular when I was young than it is now. Though it's had a, it had a bit of a resurgence there for a little while, but uh, yeah, it's still not as big as it used to be. It's a fun game for, for a free MMO. Like, well, a, f a f MMO with a free mode. If you want to unlock the full game, you got to pay like $7 a month, $10 a month, whatever the hell it is. More so you didn't get internet until you were 14. I feel that, honestly. I had a uh, similar experience, but I still played RuneScape by going to the... Uh, getting on the computers at the library outside of my elementary school. That's how I had to play RuneScape until I was like 12, 13. I was 13 or 14 myself, I think. How do we use it? Oh, okay, okay. Blow up the ob obelisks. Thankfully, it seems like the geometry of the boat we're on doesn't really affect the uh, the shooting here. But yeah, once I actually got... Oh, God. <laughs> once I actually got internet at home, uh, I played a lot of RuneScape at home. But growing up, I still did as much as I could at the at the library because I loved it man plus it was like the only MMO my computer could run when I was a child that's the other reason why I played it so much because I tried to play WoW you know I had heard of WoW it was new whenever I was young and uh, everyone you know was talking about it it was on G4 TV all the time and shit and it looked and sounded really cool I wanted to play it but my computer wouldn't even launch it like <laughs> I didn't meet the minimum specs to to even do that so i just had to deal with with runescape man that's <laughs> that's the only thing my poor computer could play hit the obelisk hit 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 the op nope the obelisk oh god so many ghosts die we gucci wait are we getting off oh the for the forward the front broke. Are we breaking the candles? What are we doing here? We're just trying to go forward? I can't actually tell. Okay, candles are broken. Do we need to kill all the masks, maybe? Because I can't seem to break the thing protecting that dude. Do I need to break that? What are we doing here? Oh, no. No, it's breaking now. Whew. We good. Another one, this time with ghosts. Oh, God. We're going to die here. Oh, Jesus. That was close. I need to collect some coins and get us another another thing is what I need to do. Another uh, horseshoe. I've never been that good at twin stick shooters, and that's basically what this is right now. <laughs> yes, all the coins game. Thank you. Horseshoe, my god. We good now. 
Ain't no stopping us, I lied. <laughs> Mask bro is scarier than the ghost. It's okay, we got... Oh, dude. Why did that one go so quick? Them walls went down in no time flat. Okay, so don't touch the soup? Is that what you're trying to tell me? I'm gonna guess he's trying to say don't touch the soup. God damn it. I was hoping we could break down one or two of the barriers before these guys started spawning shit. Okay, one down. Just head bro now. Got him. Two head bros? At least they seem to be throwing at the same time, so we can basically just, like, go back and forth to dodge them, them both together. We just, like... There we go. <laughs> that worked. Just bypass the defenses. Screw breaking them down, man. Just go around. Oh, God. Three... Three things ago. It's okay. It's fine. We can... Oh, okay. I... I thought maybe we could, like, shoot it from the back, but no, it had defenses all the way around. Strategy didn't work twice. And this one has two layers of defenses? Oh, God. We can't move that way. Okay, too many ghosts. We got another horseshoe. We're good. Is this possibly the last stream of this game? Possibly. I don't know exactly how long we have left in this game today. Or, or just in general, rather. Uh, I guess it probably... Largely depends on how many times I fuck up. <laughs> I mean, the the little completion tracker down there says 54%. But I don't know if that's also counting the time, tra time trial stuff, because we're not completing that. We're just doing, you know, all of the keys and all of the uh, uh, clues. Son of a bitch. That's kind of... Uh. <laughs> So if it's if it's counting all the time trial stuff, then we're a little bit farther than 54% of the way through the game. If it's not counting the time trial stuff, then we have a bit farther to go still. But it's possible. If it's not this stream, it'll probably be the next is the last one. Why do you ask, Mr. Noodle? Hey, not this one. We, we did this one, right? Yeah, that's the one we just... No, that's not the one we just did. You're curious? Okay. Well, I mean, hey, that's fine. I just didn't know if you had a specific reason for asking. Okay, do we have enough keys? I think that's all the levels. No. Wait, how many more are there? One, two... Three, four, five, six, seven. Is there seven? Or eight? There might be eight. Did we miss two levels somewhere? What levels did I miss? We got that one. Oh, you know what? I guess... We might have missed that one. I just now saw this bone thing to get around here. So that's probably one of them. Maybe maybe there is just seven. Maybe I double counted one of the, the things. Oh shit, you can see me? <laughs> I didn't realize he could see us up there. I thought we were in the clear up on the, the bone rope. Damn it, and it put us back here. Is this... Where are we? Okay. Yeah, we're fine here. We can We can take the shortcut around. We did the one up top. We did that one over there. Be careful of this guy. I guess we probably just went down too far because the bone rope does kind of go down a little bit. Can we maybe break this from the back as a shortcut? No. 
Piranha Lake. This is another one with just a key. That's weird. There's been a lot of levels lately with just keys, nothing else. Sly, the only way to open up that voodoo gate is by lighting all 25 tiki torches with the flamethrower on your swamp skiff. Use the left Who the hell puts a flamethrower on a swamp skiff? What the hell is a swamp skiff, anyways? <laughs> oh, of course, yeah. Piranha oil. My favorite. <laughs> uh. Oh, of course. Of course there's a time limit. How do we- how do we fire? How do we- how do we shoot? None of the buttons seem to shoot. Do we have to like hit the piranha? Oh, okay. Yeah, see, so we have to run over the piranha to get flamethrower oil. And then you said oil to light tiki torches. God, they're fast little things. We have one oil left. Chase him down again. This is <laughs> this is a weird section, man. I don't know how I've forgotten this much about the game. Like I don't remember doing this at all, dude. <laughs> Not even a little bit. Or that that other section that we were driving in, or the the one where we were protecting uh, Bentley or whatever his name is while he was driving. I don't remember that either. Come on. Oh, you stupid piranha. I thought we were going to have to use the flamethrower to protect ourselves from the piranha without, like, running out of oil or something. I didn't realize we were going to have to, like, murder the piranha to <laughs> to keep ourselves... Or just to, to, to light things. Ah, oh, damn it. That was a waste. Get two more. One more. One more piranha. Come on. I got 14 seconds. Where are they at? Okay, there's one. Yes, game. I know I'm almost out of time. They're right here. One, two, three. Let's go. <laughs> that was too freaking close, man. We're good. Uh, Key, please. Nope, not here. Gotta, gotta dock the swamp skiff. Okay, so that's seven. Is there another one that we missed, or is that it? We'll do a circle around to see if there's any other that look like we missed, but I, I'm pretty sure that's it. I know we went up top and did that one already. We checked that one earlier. We did that one. Uh, we already unlocked that gate. That's... I believe that's where we came in, but either way, we did it. I went back there to double check. We definitely did all of the ones around here. So this has got to be it. Okay, let's go back up top. Let's try to unlock the thingy again. Oh shit, we gotta We gotta hold the button. For some reason I was thinking it was a toggle. I think because the rope right there is a toggle, we're like grabbing onto those. Okay, camera. A little busted there, bro. Okay, yep. That's fair. <laughs> Son of a bitch, dude. Uh it's probably gonna bring us out of that last level too, yeah. Climb the bone rope. <laughs> I don't, I don't know why the camera got stuck like that. I mean, I guess I know why. It's using, like, a physically-based camera, and the camera was running into the stupid fence, but since you can't move the camera up, I couldn't get around it, man. Oh, wait. This wasn't even the right way. It's that over there. The easy one. The one without a guard on it. <laughs> uh, I say as I die. Look, remember what I said about it depends on how often we die? 
<laughs> well, that's why, man. <laughs> Turns out I am not good at Sly Cooper. Parts of it are a little jank, sure, but I'm also just bad. Okay, he's done. Let's go. Seven keys. Is that enough? Please say yes. Yes, thank goodness, dude. Okay, so now the pressure should be building up, so I should just be able to, like, go and hop on that, right? And then we go flying. Boss fight time. That's a hell of a jump, Sly. Look, if you can do hops like that, why do you even need that thing to push you up? I feel like there were some platforms there you could have just made your way up. <laughs> it's just fine, man. up an army of ghosts isn't a very neighborly pastime. <laughs> oh, Sly. I see your mouth moving, but all I hear is blah, blah, blah. It's not very nice. Well, if jaws need to flop, then let them flop. It's one fake ass accent. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think this game's necessarily known for its authenticity. Okay, so we're safe on the molars, but the fangs we gotta we gotta hop off of quick. That's fine. We can do that. Oh god. Uh, that's fine though. We'll just hop back up. Yeah. I like how it kind of goes with the beat of the music, though. It sounds cool. Did we actually hit her? Wait, are those the bomb chickens from earlier? <laughs> from Pawn Stars? Wait, so is this like Simon Says or how are we play in this? So, yeah, okay. <laughs> I was pressing square. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, I think that's GG though, yeah. We'll try again. Give us our lives back. Uh, so it's probably like a timing thing. I'm probably going to have to get the timing down, especially since uh, I do play through the OBS window, so I have a bit of a delay. I'm just going to have to figure that out. But I play a lot of rhythm games. Well, not a lot, but you know, I play rock band and <laughs> guitar here sometimes. I just beat Melody of Memories like a week or two ago. <laughs> I think we can I think we can handle this. Come back here. Can we skip the cutscene at least? No? For real? Game? Please? Oh, God. Why can we not? I thought... I could have swore we could skip cutscenes. I'm pressing every button. Oh my god, whatever. Okay. I guess we're watching this. I understand the rules, I promise. I don't need you to explain them again. says huh sounds easy enough is it gonna be the same square 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 again okay yeah we just gotta do it like before the thing happens there we go got it
We're gonna have to do it again though, aren't we? Wait, what are we doing here? Okay. Let's go, dude. I love how we're like singing along with it too. Oh fuck, I hit the I hit it too early. Son of a uh <laughs> Checkpoint, please checkpoint, because this is a long boss fight, man. No, there's no checkpoint. I mean, there's one after her long ass speech, at least. Oh, okay. One down. Try not to screw it up again. Press it way too early, man. Suddenly changing. No, dude, what? You could have jumped, bro. Why did it change the tempo on us all of a sudden? <laughs> oh, I hate everything. <laughs> Hope you guys like the song. <laughs> oh, God. Note to any developers out there, whenever you're making long-ass boss fights like this, please put checkpoints in between the different stages of the fight. <laughs> oh, man, I, the worst part is I think we have like two or three more stages of this after this, man. Because we only have her, what, one-third of the way dead? Maybe half if we're lucky. I hate everything. Oh my god, dude. I'm so... <laughs> okay. I'm going to... Switch real quick. To straight game view out of OBS. That was uh, sorry. I was I, t I turned my head to look at OBS. Sucks that we lost our our thing.
Because I just noticed that, like, it looks much more saturated when I'm playing outside of OBS, and I was a little bit confused on why it looks so different, but... Let's go, okay. Come on, just a couple more. Just a couple more. <laughs> God, please. Go, dude. Wait, was that it? Is she dead? Think that might be it. With a oh, thank God. <laughs> Ms. Ruby's section of the Thievius Raccoonus held notes from my pioneering ancestor, Slight in Common. His invisibility technique allowed him to steal from corrupt pharaohs and greedy noblemen. Right on schedule, Inspector Fox's arrival cued my exit. The production of zombies, made illegal in the World Peace Accord of 71, earned Ms. Ruby a life sentence behind bars. While the gang and I enjoyed a few weeks in the tropical sunshine, Working on our tans in preparation for our next caper. Hey, Nate. Welcome to the stream, bro. Oh, my God. Oh, dude. <laughs> I'm so happy we did it. It turns out... Excuse me. Having the uh, fucking game, like, directly to the monitor, not through OBS, makes things a hell of a lot easier. <laughs> Ow, your new phone came in today? That's awesome, bro. Good for you, good for you. You got it uh, all set up yet, or are you still... Like, j are you just getting it? Like, I hope you end up liking it, man. I know I've really enjoyed my Pixel, so I hope you like yours. But you came in right whenever we got to take a break. Because, uh, yeah, I already had to snooze the, the ad manager once while uh, trying to beat that boss. So we're going to go ahead and take that break. I'm going to stand up, maybe get a refill on my water. And then we'll be right back in a few minutes to move on to the next Absolutely. world, which is China of some sort. Okay, yeah, so there's two levels, two worlds left, because I remember the final boss. I do remember fighting the final boss of the game, and it's this Al bro. So we got the Panda Bro in China, and then we got the, the final boss, the Ad Bro. So we're getting close. I don't know if it'll be today, but uh, either this stream or next, definitely. So if you guys have votes on the final game, or I'm sorry, on the next game for us to complete, then uh, make sure you get those votes in either... Well, probably by the end of the stream would be next, but by the end of this stream or early next stream, whatever, whatever it ends up being. You guys, you guys know how it is. Anyways, we'll be right back. The front of the car like that, man, whenever you wreck, because <laughs> that'd be hilarious. Oh. Yes, we're going this way. I was going too fast. Wasn't able to follow him because I was getting for. Oh shit! 
We are being shot at. Okay. A little, little bit of off road. Nope. All right. It'd be nice if we had a gun or something to, you know, maybe shoot back. Holy crap. Oh, you don't say, man. I just took like 20 bullets to the back. But yeah, now you realize that there's a freaking car on us. Hey, we can bunny hop higher. Hey, look at that. I'm just a lie. Oh, well, okay. You know what? I was going to say I'm the liability here, but actually, I think you might be right, man. <laughs> Stay with right. I'm trying. <laughs> oh God. Oh God. Sorry. 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 Oh my Lord. I'm gonna fail the first freaking mission in the game, man. I see it happening already. Can we like? Can we? Can we go backwards or something? Holy shit. What? What is going on? Why can't I drive straight? Thank you. Okay. Look. Oh my Lord. These cars everywhere. Don't y'all know to watch for bicyclists, okay? Get on the bike. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying. Stay with Ryder. I would love to stay with Ryder. I don't even know where he's at anymore. Where's our stamina bar? Don't we have, like, a stamina bar somewhere? Does it not show it to us? It might not show it to us. I don't remember. Holy crap. These are some tight alleyways. Alright. It's fine. It's fine. We're catching up. They waited for us a little bit. Um, are we going? Yep, we're going down here, I guess. <laughs> there we go. We caught up. See that? Oh, and we lost some fat. All that extra exercise, man. Getting thrown off our bike repeatedly. It really helped out. <laughs> Losing some weight. We looking good. I'm trying to, like match this dude's speed but i'm either going too fast or too slow there's no in between that's one of the most annoying things in video games by the way whenever like you're supposed to be following someone but they are slower than your run speed and faster than your walk speed like man <laughs> Some of these models look a little, uh, a little ridiculous, man. I do want to try out, now I haven't seen very good things about them, to be honest, but I do want to try out the new HD remasters that they've done of them. They look interesting, to say the least, you know? A little bit of, uh, a little bit of polish, a couple updates or whatever, and I think it would actually be a pretty decent way to play the games. But sadly, they uh, weren't amazing on release. From what I've seen, I haven't personally played them. So, you know, it could be better than what I've been led to believe. But, I don't know. Some of the, the rain textures and the, the the water textures were, like, just all messed up. Some of the models just looked absolutely ridiculous. And honestly, like, this game doesn't look that bad, you know? Alright, guys, we're back. You can gamble, Nate, but you can't answer my question. How rude, dude. <laughs> I'm just... If you can hear me. I don't actually know if you can hear at the moment. But I'm just wondering if you're liking your pixels so far. If you got it set up. Road trip gave me the time I needed to study up on... The Panda King. Born penniless, he was fascinated by the fireworks rich noblemen set off every New Year's. He spent a decade learning the art. But when he tried to offer his fireworks to the noblemen, they couldn't see past his shabby clothes and chased him away. Humiliated, the Panda King took revenge on those who shunned him by using the very tools of his art for crime. The Fetish Five recruited him as their demolitions expert, and from then on, his explosive touch became feared worldwide. He's rumored to be perfecting some new firework technique high in the unstable Kunlun Mountains of western China.
<laughs> loud snow. I love me some loud snow, dude. Did you miss Panda King's background? You might have if you weren't paying attention. He uh he grew up very poor in the streets of China, but absolutely loved fireworks. So he spent, you know, years perfecting his trade, learning to make fireworks. He eventually got really good at it, tried to sell it to the noblemen. The noblemen were like, look at you, you're poor as shit, get out of here. Uh, we don't want your fireworks. So he then started turning his fireworks into bombs, basically. <laughs> Hence why it's illegal to make fireworks in most of the world uh, at home without a license. Fucking rude. I know, honestly, like most of these, uh, most of these, these enemies that we're fighting, the big baddies are kind of like i you, you feel bad for them you know like <laughs> honestly like most of them seem like they were decent people or whatever and then society was like yo you fucking suck for one reason or another that's really not your fault like this dude didn't seem to do anything wrong he just liked fireworks and wanted to make and sell fireworks but all the people were like nah dude we ain't buying shit from you like why look at him i got good fireworks but they didn't give a shit. They don't care about his fireworks. Uh, am I dead? I'm dead. Okay. <laughs> I slipped off while I was looking at chat. Yeah, Nate's fucking... Dude, he's hacking. I don't care what he says. He can claim that he don't know shit about hacking, but... He hacks. <laughs> like, he just has too high of a, a win-loss ratio to not be. You know? <laughs> like... It makes no damn sense. So y'all win every once in a while, and that's normal. You're, you should win about 50% of the time, but he somehow wins about 80% of the time. Would you look at that? A fireworks show. Uh, <laughs> I don't think that's a fireworks oh show, gosh, man. You can bet the Panda King lit the fuse. I've got to find my way up there and fast before that lunatic squashes another town. You've lost plenty, have you though? You're currently sitting at what, two trillion or something like that? I don't know if the uh, argument that you've lost plenty really, really works out there, man. <laughs> like, just because you've lost once or twice <laughs> doesn't quite count. That's like. <laughs> That's like being, oh man, you know, I lost, I lost, uh, I don't know, $10 million in the stock, mar stock market crash. And they're like, oh shit, what's your uh, net worth at now? Um, oh, you know, only $2 trillion. Like, <laughs> it's only because I bet high also. Yeah, but with a 50-50 win-loss rate, assuming that you bet max damn near every time, which you do bet max damn near every time, you should average at zero you average at way above zero <laughs> like, <laughs> the bot favors you for some reason dude i don't think you can argue that obviously i don't think you're actually hacking but the bot does definitely favor you in some way <laughs> wish we could do more in 1337 on the heist i might be able to set it a little bit higher let me see i can't remember if that's one of the ones that i can change or not that one has a straight up higher than 50% win ratio, though, so I don't want it to be too high. Honestly, what I want to do is make the gamble one a lower uh, win ratio. Like, I feel like you should only win, I don't know, 35 40% of the time on that one. But I can't change it for some reason, so... I can make it higher. Well, uh, I mean, as much as I like the elite number, how high do you want it to be? 5,000, save settings, 5,000. We'll set it to 5,000. Coin toss always has a chance of landing on heads or tails no matter how many flips. One, that's not true. Two, 4,444, that's fine. Uh, and two, the more times you do it though, the closer to like zero it'll be, right? Like it averages out as the same on both ends. You average out on the head side if heads was the winning side way more often, which isn't, no, it's not actually true. There's a chance that it'll land on its side. It's a very, very small chance, but there is a chance that it'll land on its side for one. And two, 
Uh, if I remember correctly, it's actually slightly more likely to ha land on tails because the head side is ever so slightly more uh, or heavier. If I remember correctly, one one side or the other is more likely to land on, but it's by a tiny, tiny fraction if you want to get technical. But <laughs> point is, wait, what? I didn't I didn't even realize you did a heist, man. I would have joined. <laughs> well, shit. <laughs> Anyways, um, but yeah, it still doesn't matter. If you gamble all in every time, you should average out at zero. That's just how that works, you know, with a 50-50 game. But you haven't. You've gotten to almost three trillion now. <laughs> like, it's insane. Now, since you're already so high, you would have to get one hell of a losing streak to lose all of your money, obviously. Um, since it won't actually let you gamble all of it in at one time. But... Yeah. It's a, it's just it's just really weird, man. And if it's a gambling thing, then it shouldn't be 50/50 anyways cuz I mean, what casino are you going to go to where they're like, "Yeah, you got a 50% chance of winning." Like that's not going <laughs> to that doesn't fly, man, you know? It should always be in the house's favor technically. But they're they're fake points that don't mean anything, so I don't really care. I'm just going to leave it like It'd be different if I had the points set up so that you could actually win something with them. Then I would worry about it. And whenever I eventually get around to making my own bot, that's whenever I will then, you know, change the number up. Or numbers up. Also, we're struggling just to make it through this beginning part here. It's not going well for us. I'm going to die again. Oh, God. We got this. It's fine. Everything's fine. We're going to have to add a timer to the stream just for Nate. So he knows when his uh, 60 seconds or whatever on the gamble is up. <laughs> I forget how often you can actually gamble, but... <laughs> okay, so for this section, can we actually hit the dudes rolling or... Wait, did we game over? Why did we... We must have game over because we went all the way back to the beginning. No, I, uh, can can we hit these things or do we just need to be just need to be fast? Oh god damn it. Uh, you missed I, we all missed the heist, dude. I went down one light. Then why did we go all the way back to the beginning? There's a save point right here. I think I think maybe we game overed and then we and then we died a time or two again because, you know, <laughs> bad. Thank God. Another checkpoint, please. <laughs> oh, wait, no, we made it this far before. Hold on. Yeah, wait, no, we've made we made it farther than this. We died right here on the ice spike. Yeah, see, and there's another checkpoint right here, too. Yeah, we must have game over, man. We had to have. Okay. Don't let the ice spike fall on us. Does anybody know the statistic for how many people die from falling ice a year? I don't know it off the top of my head, but... Oh, that checkpoint triggered while we were on the other side of this wall. I wonder if it would have been faster to just let ourselves die. And just respawn instead. Probably not. By the time the like death animation and everything plays out, probably wouldn't be worth it. Wouldn't be any kind of time save. GG. I do at least vaguely remember this level. Like, I remember the fact that there was a chinese theme level, but I don't really remember anything that happens in it, though. Probably because of the fireworks. I freaking love fireworks, dude. Or as Russo affectionately called it, loud snow. <laughs> the game's just giving us one-ups left and right now. 
I think the game feels bad for us, man. They're like, dude, this guy sucks. He, ne he needs some help. <laughs> if I wasn't too busy streaming, what I would do, Nate, is I would track all of your wins and losses to see what percentage it actually is for you. Because maybe you're right. Maybe it is 50-50 and you just got really lucky twice with two two incredible win streaks. But anecdotal evidence tells me you're over 50-50. <laughs> and I want to know what the actual number is. Got to be a sneaky boy. They'll never see me. It's a good thing they have like total night loss or night vision loss and can't see unless their light is shining directly on us. Oh shit, not the roll one. I'm assuming dive. Nope, that didn't work. This one? How do we get in there? So I'm pretty sure that's where the... Uh, Oh, <laughs> the firework kind of backfired. Okay, that works. So I'm pretty sure this is where the safe is, but we still need, we still need 15 more. Okay. There must be maybe more farther in the level. I don't think we've missed any back in the level anywhere. I can't like climb this, can I? No. Damn. And we replayed that section of the level like 15 times. I don't, <laughs> I don't think we missed anything. If we did, holy shit, am I blind? Up, up, up. Okay, where? We just jumping? Guess we just jump down. Oh wait. Oh my god, I'm so dumb. We didn't have to go around the building. We dropped the bridge. <laughs> God damn it, dude. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Okay, well. <laughs> it's fine. Hey, we figured it out in the end. It just, it just took us a minute. We're a little slow. That's all. You can't get through the security gate without one of the Panda King's treasure keys. There's one over there. But it's heavily guarded. One key coming up. What's new, dude? We're always always making our through our way through heavily guarded areas. I can't English. Do they actually see up on this wall at all? Okay. Maybe we shouldn't try and climb the wall. Are you coming around? No, you're going this way. Get you. Where's the next bro at? You're just doing circles. Coming around this way? Yes. Gotcha. You come around that direction. These guards have like the worst pattern in the world, man. It's almost like they want to be caught. We lose them? I think we lost them. This might actually be a situation where the mines would be useful, though. So we could throw mines down. And then presumably they would walk right into the path of them. Did everyone know we missed one? How did I walk right past him and not see him? Maybe I am just blind as shit. Okay. How many more clues do we need? Four. There's two. There's the key. I don't... Well, this isn't one of the other levels. We won't just instantly end if we collect the key here. I don't think. At least I hope not. I'd rather not have to re-kill everything to collect the last two clues. Good. Now where... There's one on the wall. And then there's probably one just on the ground somewhere that I missed. In this maze of trees as I was trying to murder those dudes. Shit, maybe? Yeah, right there. Okay. 
I was worried for a second. I was like, oh God, are we gonna actually have to go through the entire level again and find it? No, we're good. What are we gonna get this time, guys? Is it gonna be something useful or something completely useless? Five, seven, eight. Coming right up. This just gets better and better. I'd always heard that one of your southern ancestors, Huckleberry Cooper, developed a technique to move while staying invisible. Hold down the circle button to turn invisible, then move around with the left analog stick. Wait, do we... We don't have to stay behind cover to stay invisible? We just have to go invisible and then... Wait. Wait, can we do that anywhere as long as we're not being seen? We just move incredibly slowly and we can't jump. I mean, that makes sense. Okay, that could actually come in handy. That might not be too bad. The only downside is, you know... You move like fucking molasses, man. When do I want you to cook? Why are you getting hungry? I mean, I still have what? Two, two hours left in the stream. So it's up to you, man. If you're, if you get hungry or something and want to cook early, that's fine. I can, I can eat some a little bit on stream. That's not a big deal. But if you want to wait until we can actually, like, sit and eat together, that'd be cool, too. Just depends how hungry you are, love. What happens if he touches us? He doesn't see us even if he touches us. Okay. Yeah, that one's nice. I like that one. I'm glad we took the time to collect it. And there's nothing to collect in this part, right? Yeah, no. Obstructed by this reinforced ceiling hatch. No problem. They seem to have plenty of firepower around here. I'll just have to find a few more treasure keys to get at it. So wait. How does he know that there's a way to get up there if it's inside this building? Like, has he got a spy, a man on the inside? Flaming Temple of Flame. <laughs> uh, Flaming Temple of Flame Temple? It's a hell of a name, man. For a place. Love me the Flaming Temple of Flame. Okay, don't crawl on our hands, guys. Gotta stay on our toes. I'm assuming... Oh, there's a thing right there. Son of a bitch. <laughs> I was gonna say, I'm assuming the invisibility thing won't work here. So I tried to grab the hook, but I must have pressed the button too late because <laughs> it, didn't, it didn't do shit. Oh, wait, there's things down bottom. Gotta collect the stuff. I can't help myself. It's an addiction. Oh, shit. Hi. How do we get those? I see a checkpoint up top, so we probably go up top at some point and then maybe just jump down and then do a little bit of backtracking. Can I go invisible and then activate this? I'm assuming, will the lasers still see me? They won't. Get fucked, lasers. <laughs> this is probably actually slower, though, <laughs> than, <laughs> than just doing it the way you're supposed to. But, hey, <laughs> like doing things the wrong way, it's fun. <laughs> that was probably such a waste of time. And now we know it works. It's 
speaking of the way it works. Is there... What? There's no clues hidden right there? That would have been the perfect spot, man. You can't see there unless you're going backwards or specifically check for it. It's relatively easy to get to. I can't believe they didn't hide anything there. Missed opportunity. Is that a person? It is. I'm assuming they're not a nice person. Yeah, no. Well, she's dead. <laughs> Whatever reason she was here, I guess it doesn't really matter. She's she's done so. Ah, thanks for all the points, bro. <laughs> Let's test my luck real quick. Gamble all in. Lost. <laughs> yep, that seems about right. <laughs> oh, man. Well, what you gonna do? <laughs> I'm not surprised at all. I fully expected that to happen. It would have been funny, though, if I suddenly went on a win streak after talking about you. I'm still, since I haven't really given you any, I mean, that's fine. <laughs> it's not like I really have time to play with them anyways. How do we get those ones that we weren't able to, to grab in the beginning? Can we knock these guys over or no? Huh. I guess we just ignore them, pretend they don't exist. I mean, they're not really, like, they're not attacking us or anything. They're just kind of there. So I guess they don't really matter. They're just here practicing their craft. I mean, that's fair, dude. Let them do their thing, then. Oh, shit, no. I don't want to... Damn it, game. I don't want to go invisible. Thank you. <laughs> this is much faster than slowly walking invisible. Nothing hidden that I can see. No, nothing. I thought maybe hitting the gong, they would all like jump down and stop with their training or something, but no, they don't really seem to give a fuck. Okay, is this... this the section we were looking at before? No. It's over... Where is it? You can collect these ones, at least. Not invisible. Go on the... Okay, apparently we couldn't walk on that rope. <laughs> I thought we could walk on it. I pressed circle, nothing happened. We fell right through it. No, game. Okay, so, so the invisibility thing is a bit of a double-edged sword, dude. It works well against enemies and shit. But it also keeps triggering that instead of the, you know, sneaking along the, the wall thing here. We got to be, like, right up against it now where the game activates the other ability instead. Whereas before, I mean, I could be misremembering, but I'm pretty sure before you were, like, snapping to it, you know? Now not so much. Oh, that's... Okay, that's the section I think we were at before. So, wait. Did we miss anything here before we go over there, then? 
No, that's the way we came in. So nothing else over here. Surely we can stand on this rope. Thank you. Okay, so... How do we get there? Do we just... Oh. What does this do? Oh, this is back up. It's an elevator. Thanks, game. See, why didn't they put something like that in the last level, you know? Just a little just a little thing that takes us back to where we were instead of making us backtrack. I like that. I can't tell if uh, those those ninja chicks, if they're like throwing something at us or if they're just trying to hit us. I think they're just trying to hit us. So I'm pretty sure we would have been hit by something by now if it was projectile based. Wait, wait, wait. Anything up here? Uh, I feel like that's the way to proceed. Yeah, that's definitely the way to proceed. Okay, we'll come back. Eighteen to twenty-five. We haven't seen the safe yet, right? I don't think we have. It's gonna suck if we get all the way to the end, collect all the things, and then we still need more for the safe to open it up. Okay, this must be the proper way to proceed. We're going this way. Elevator me, daddy. Thank you. 21. Still need four more, though. I'm just hoping we haven't missed any obvious ones along the path here. This feels like it's actually a relatively large level. And I don't want to have to replay it from the beginning. <laughs> I will if we have to, if it comes to it, but I'm going to try not to walk off a cliff. Thankfully, we do have another horseshoe left. We must have had a golden one at some point. This level just keeps going forever, don't it? Okay, there's the safe. There's the key. Where did we miss the things at? Son of a bitch, we did miss some somewhere. I was really hoping we wouldn't. Um... Shit, dude. Yes, we gotta start going backwards. I can't even think of anywhere where we would have missed stuff. I mean, that one section... Like, when we were going through the, the temple or whatever... There could have been something there. Like, maybe another little ledge that we need to jump down onto or something. Maybe that's the where we missed it at. We are still missing some, right? I'm not dumb yet. We're still missing four. Keep our eyes peeled for any missing clues. Could be two safes, two of the, the breakable safes. Or it could just be four random ones sitting somewhere. Oh, it's like... I was wondering why the camera was panning over. It was showing us the, the key, but... I already know where that's at. Okay, we went up that way. What's over here? This is where we slid down at. This is where we fought the dude. Nothing here. Oh, shit. We might actually have to replay. I don't think we can... 
I don't think we can make our way back over there. Bruh. That sucks. Yeah, I don't think there's any way we're making that jump. Shit, dude. Okay. Well, that's fine. We know we know how to play the level now, so it shouldn't take too long, hopefully, to redo it. There ain't going to be any surprises or anything like that. And at some point, we got another golden horseshoe, so we can take a couple hits. It'd be cool if there were, like, inter-level. I mean, the levels are usually relatively short, so that's probably why they don't. But it'd be cool if there were, like, inter-level shortcuts that you unlock the first time that you beat it. So if you have to come back to it, you could go through it much more quickly. But that might also defeat the purpose of the time trial mode. Damn, bro. Okay. Fine. Collect the key and then instantly go back in. Trying to think of places we could have missed. The beginning, it was pretty open. I don't see how we could have missed anything there. It's got to be in that temple section, man. Weird. Had some encoding lag there for a moment. my computer doing something in the background? I don't think so. Oh, well. It evened itself out. Okay. Back at the beginning of the level. Nothing here. Completely empty. Nothing we could even miss over here, right? I don't see anything. It's not like on top of these roofs or anything weird like that, no? Okay. Onward, then. Is there, like, a secret cave on the side of the level? Like, <laughs> I mean, it's got to be here somewhere. I just don't know where the hell to, to look. That's the, that's the end of the level. We got the ones that we saw that were over there. Those are the ones that we saw initially. It was like, we got to remember to come back for them. So we didn't miss those ones. Just nowhere to hide anything on this section. Also, if you're building the security for, for a home or secret base in this case or whatever maybe don't make your lasers bright ass yellow and so easy to see be much more secure if people don't know where your security's at you know security through it's got a name i can't think of what it's called security through obfuscation that's not exactly what i'm thinking of but kind of works Can't see me, I'm invisible. Okay. We checked over here, there's nothing, nothing here, though there should have been in my opinion. That's clear, our camera's stuck, thank you. <laughs> Miss anything here? Maybe, okay, I feel like we rushed through this part right here. Damn it. Oh wait, no, we actually killed her. The way we got pushed back, I thought we got hit. Nope, nothing behind the rocks. Some bitch, dude.
I have no idea what just happened there, but we didn't get hit, so... GG, I guess. Okay, is there anything, like, in here? Right, because we, we took the chandeliers to the end over there. Is there a safe somewhere? Between the low frame rate and all the yelling that I missed, there's one. Is there one on the other side? Thought we got lucky. Okay, so we're down to two, though. We only need two more. Where are they hiding at? Behind the statue? No. Tricky, 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 dude. Feel like I'm freaking blind, man. Okay, well, I mean, we'll continue forward. And we'll come back to this section if we need to. As long as we don't ride that rope all the way down to the next section, we can we can backtrack as much as needed to find things. There's nowhere like around here, right? No. Now that we're up here. Get a little bit better of a look around. No, nothing. Okay. Keep going up. Or actually, we'll go outside, then we'll go up. Still surprised that gong doesn't do anything. Nothing. Not a damn thing, dude. Okay. Go up. I mean, there's nothing at the end of these chandelier things. We went this way once already. Got all of those. There's no other chandeliers on the other side anywhere that I can see. We can break the eyebrows on this thing. Makes it a lot easier to jump over there. Did I do that last time? I might have done that last time and just forgotten already. Bro, what are we missing, man? We have a noodle coffee fund? What do you mean? Is someone gonna get the coffee for you? Because I know you can't drive. But if someone's gonna pick you up a coffee, then sure. That's fine. I just asked for a donut. <laughs> if someone's going to get coffee, I want a donut. I guess we're taking this down, dude. I mean, it does seem almost like we should be able to go underneath this area, right? Nope. Kill plane as soon as we jump down. We went through this area twice. We might just have to give up on this one, man. This might be the first level that actually has got me... Got me lost. Your services are required. <laughs> Uh, unless you're already heading out that way, I'm, I'm not going to ask you to do that. Just because I would want to tip reasonably, and I don't know if it's worth it just for a cup of coffee and a donut. <laughs> if I was buying pizza or something, you know, that's different. Like a whole meal, but a cup of coffee and a donut, I don't think I can tip well enough on that to make it worth your time, to TBH, dude. Thank you, though.
Well, that's another way up here, I guess. How the hell are we missing this one? I'm assuming it's a safe. I feel like we've combed through the entire level. It's going to annoy the hell out of me that <laughs> we haven't found it. Oh, you actually are getting ready to leave the house? Well, yeah, if you're going to pass Tim Hortons or Duncan's or whatever, then uh, I'll take... Uh, they don't have Long Johns anymore. What's the uh, the one that's like a Long John? Like cream filled with the same sort of cream? I'll take one of those and either chocolate or maple. And then whatever kind of coffee noodle wants. She can either tell you here or message you or whatever. Damn, dude. Yeah, I think we just got to give up on this one. What's the name of this level? Does it say anywhere? I guess once we exit the level and come back, it probably will. Or not like come back, because I don't think we're going to replay this level for a third time. I just don't think it's worth it, man. You'd have to get an amazing ability for me to want to waste more time here. But that is why I wanted to know what... uh. what ability we got here to see if it was worth it in any way. Just don't get it. It's going to bug the hell out of me, but... Alright, we got to go. We got to go to the next level. We can't. <laughs> oh, wait. View map. Flaming Temple of Flame. How the hell did I forget the name of it, dude? I was making fun of it for like a minute. Flaming Temple of Flame. The first result is bottles. <laughs> there must be a really hard one to get here, dude. There's a video. I don't really want to watch a video. 23 of 25 clues. Help. IGM boards. Stuck with the same amount of bottles. Must have already found the safe in the temple because there's nothing left there. Kids and I have spent a total of three hours trying to find it. Oh, God. We don't have three hours trying to find it. But you already made coffee? Well, I mean, if you don't want it, Noodle, that's fine. You don't have to get anything, of course. On the side... Walking into the main temple with the monkeys, walk up the ramp and turn left, then go around the pillar... Okay, got that one. Second is kind of at the beginning of the level. There should be a place where you have to swing across to the other side. You should be able to walk down under and get a lucky charm. See some blue light things? Go around the corner and under there too. Okay, that's pretty broken English. I'm assuming that's not their first language, but... uh, They said it's like at the beginning of the level though. I don't want to replay the level again. Can we just like... Maybe from the start menu? Oh, we can exit the level, but... We're like already here at the end, though. Where you swing across the two platforms. I'm going back in. I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Sure, this isn't the most entertaining thing, watching me redo the same level over and over again, but I gotta know. I gotta know. Where the hell is it? We swing across the two platforms. Near the beginning. Uh, I might have an idea. That area where I thought... Oh wait, wait right here? Can we go down here? Or is this an instant kill plane? That's an instant kill plane. Nope. Can't go under there. Okay. The other place where I said that, like, I thought there should be one. Maybe there's, like, uh, some of those blue 
light things that let us like sneak around in a way that I missed or something hidden in the snow. It's the only other place I can think of, dude. Here. Yeah, okay, because he said it's where... Right freaking there. Oh my god, man. Those blue lights were so hard to see. Bruh, thank god for the internet. <laughs> if I was playing this on my... I think when I was a kid, I don't think I 100 percent at the game. I just beat it. But if I was trying to 100 percent this as a kid when the internet was, like, hardly a thing, that would have freaking sucked, man, trying to find those. That was a rough one. That's the first one that actually stumped me for a minute, you know? I mean, we did have to play through one or two other levels to, to complete it, complete it, but never to that degree. Holy hell. Should be quick now, at least, though. So we don't have to search for anything anymore. We just got to get to the end. Don't need to worry about collecting coins or anything like that. Just freaking get out of here, dude. Let's go. I'm surprised that the the safe was somewhere that people had problems finding them. Because that's the other one that popped up a lot. Because, I mean, obviously, I missed on my first go-around, but as soon as I started searching for them, those ones were relatively easy to find. But apparently, those ones trip people up a lot, too. Damn it. So that's what I get for not being careful. Uh, am I invisible or no? Okay, I am invisible. I didn't look invisible. <laughs> like, I, it didn't seem like I was see-through, but the light was on me. I was scared. But we're good. Need a projectile attack. Like we said before, bow or crossbow or something like that would be perfect, dude. Want to take these dudes out from a distance? Get through this level real quick that way. Yeah, that's fine. I'll just send you. Just let me know however much it is and I'll send you money for it. I don't know that one off the top of my head. It's not like my, my pizza order that I usually get, you know? buy that every week so <laughs> i got that one i know how much that is coffee and donuts though that's a special treat lucky for you i burst in chaos theory otherwise this code would have been unsolved this better be worth it this is going to be something stupid calling it now 932 wasted all that time and what do we get Wait, what? Defy gravity? You should be able to pop right out of those bottomless pits you keep falling into. And you won't even lose a lucky charm. Wait, are you serious? Wait. <laughs> Hold on. Bottomless pits no longer hurt us? You're kidding. Okay, if that's the case, then that's totally worth it, man. What? <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> okay. You know what? That was totally worth the extra, I don't know, 20 minutes or whatever we spent trying to find that stupid thing. That's awesome. So much for stupid? Yeah, no, that one was worth it. I feel bad for you guys that are actually watching, but, like, <laughs> that'll make my job of beating the game so much fucking easier. Holy hell. That's a good one. Now, finally, we can get one that just, like, makes us invisible all the time, no matter what we do. <laughs> The Unseen Foe. It sounds like a uh, novel of some sort. Be 
in my PJ pants and beat up shirt. I'll, I'll say what she's wearing. She's wearing an old t-shirt with two giant holes in it. I'll let you guess where the holes are. <laughs> What's the point of putting a lock on your door when you don't even have glass in your windows, bro? There's a conveyor belt? That's handy. Mike is running away. Come on back, Mike. I haven't gotten weights to put on it yet. <laughs> it's running away from me. Stop it. You were doing so good today, microphone. I haven't even touched you. Why are you running away? I guess this must be like some sort of factory or something to make the things in. Like, why else would they have, you know, a big conveyor belt in the middle of it? Maybe like a loading bay or something? Damn it. <laughs> I didn't realize that after they murder you, they just swallow a sword. Bet you can't do this though, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. I'm so glad we actually spent the time to get that one, dude. How do we get over there? Gonna have to go around the top somewhere. I do see the roofs like broke, so presumably there's some way to... to climb up. Oh, okay. It looks like it's connected to the top of that building, so probably later. That's a later thing. Just gotta remember to go in there and collect all the shit. Any clues in there that we missed? Sorry, I was actually focusing for a second. That's why I did, didn't say anything. But... So this is like prime clue hiding area? No. Gucci, we clear? Looks like it. Figured with that many traps, there had to be something. But no, I guess not. Okay. Let's not jump straight into the fire again like we did a couple levels ago. from the other side. Get got, bro. No quick way back up? No, sadly. Big hoodie and sweatpants acquired. Good job, love. <laughs> Achievement unlocked. Got dressed for the day. Then where do we actually go from here? Oh, there's more. More thingies. Trying to catch us on fire. Holy shit, it's like ad time too. I'm glad I looked over when I did. Probably would have missed it. I'm like super paranoid about actually making sure that we get everything now. Because I don't want another repeat of last time. <laughs> like, Okay, this conveyor belt's going the wrong direction. So we can't just use our invisibility this time. We actually have to, like, do that. That wasn't too bad, actually. I thought that was going to be harder. Clues, thank you. All right, before we head on down to there, I guess, we're going to go ahead and tweak our tweak. We're going to tweak our break real quick <laughs> gonna stand up stretch get a drink i suggest you guys do the same it's good for you sit in one spot for too long it's not but we'll brb guys jank but 
and obviously it's a it's a lower resolution, but it doesn't look all that bad. You sent me a GTA TikTok the other day, Mr. Noodle. I probably didn't see it because I don't ever get on TikTok. But <laughs> if you uh, whenever tonight or something like that, you'll have to actually show it to me, maybe. I guess we didn't really need to hop on our bike to go here, but whatever. Press L1 to answer your cell phone. We can do that. I never get on TikTok because I hate you. That doesn't make sense. Okay. We sprint by repeatedly hitting X? Or do we just have to run it? Or run it, hold it. So if we hold it, we run. Uh, we might go faster if we keep hitting it. I think we end up going a little bit faster if we keep hitting X. Seems like just kind of in general, that's what we want to do then. Whenever we're running around. I imagine it'll like burn fat, build our stamina faster or whatever. See you my home. What's up with you? Don't the cops already have you like pinned for murder you didn't do? Why are you just like <laughs> I don't know. Seems like a, a pretty poor choice. Oh, you don't want to see how we drive on the East Coast. This is... <laughs> this is not what you want to see. I will end up killing us both, I promise you that. Press select button to change camera views. Push left and a log stick up or down to raise and lower the game camera. Okay. <laughs> Walking to the yellow marker to enter the barbershop? Okay. I mean, we kind of know how that works already. You did have us go inside the house not too long ago. You ain't got to tell us every little thing to do, game. We ain't that stupid. We're pretty close, but we're not that stupid, you know? Walking to the marker to get a haircut. I Honestly, I kind of like the hair we got. I'd be fine with just keeping what we have. Just clicking it once just lets us see it, right? Like, we don't have to actually buy it. Can we, uh... Oh, man, I wish we could, like, rotate the camera around a little bit or something. But, sure, screw it, whatever. We'll buy that one. Looks, looks good. <laughs> what else do we have? What's, a, what's the most expensive ones? Flat top, cornrow... Uh, what's the cornrows look like in this game? Does that change our facial hair too, or just... Yeah, it does. Okay, so all shaved in the front, cornrows on top. I mean, we don't have that much money, and I'm not going to waste all my money on a haircut anyways. That dude's shoulder, like, disappeared. His arms look super long too from time to time. Flat top ain't too bad. But now we're just going to... We're just going to keep... We're just going to keep the... Whatever it was called. The Caesar or something. Yeah, that, that looks fine to me. What is everybody's favorite GTA game, if you don't mind me asking? Like I mentioned earlier, I really like GTA San Andreas, this one. And <laughs> Does he always say that? I wonder if he says something. Hello, hello everyone, we're back. Let's get right back into it, shall we? No point in dilly-dallying. I want to get through this level. Honestly, I'm curious what we're going to end up playing next is what I'm really curious about. Like, if it's going to be... It seems like most likely either going to be Kingdom Hearts or or uh, Metal Gear Solid. I'm fine with either one. I'm, I really want to continue the story of Metal Gear Solid. But, of course, Kingdom Hearts is one of my favorite games of all time. 
so either one is fine by me although kingdom hearts is a bit of a longer game and it's been nice playing some somewhat shorter games you know ones that we can complete in just a few streams so but either way it's gonna be a fun time dude of course revisiting sly cooper after so many years has also been a great time but i don't know i just i don't know like much about sly cooper so I don't have any like fun things to say about it really. It's just it's just a really good game and y'all should play it. That's <laughs> that's all I gotta say about it, dude. What I am more excited about is playing the other ones at some point. Because I haven't played those ones before. Like the second, third, and then I think Nate's mentioned before that they did make another one for PS3 or something like that at some point. I know they did the Sly Collection on PS3 where they remastered uh one two and three but i don't actually remember them making a fourth one wouldn't be terribly surprised if they did though sly was relatively popular around that time but then of course sucker punch which is who i think made this moved on to other things Was it, was it Sucker Punch that made, uh, I think they made the Infamous series, right? And then moved on to, was it Last of Us? Uncharted? I can't remember, honestly. Wait, how do we get... How do we get those ones? Hold on. We missed something somewhere. Going back. Is there a climby thing somewhere we missed or something? Maybe we can... There's a guy up there. What was their name? Chow Mei. Oh, there's two of them. Chimpius Kung Fuium. <laughs> Listens to techno. Okay. Are they clones? Because <laughs> they all seem to have the same interests. Like, the same type of enemies all seem to have the same interests as each other. And that just doesn't seem right. I'm sorry. We grab that pole from all the way over there. We get up on it over here. Bruh. This is going to bug the shit out of me. How do we get up there? Wait, maybe from here. Maybe we can jump to the other tree. Hold on, hold on, hold on. From here jump to that tree no there's no way fuck uh there might actually be a way it might be possible one more try one more try and then we're gonna move forward no son of a bitch there's definitely things on the other side of one of those gates and i don't know how to get through it as far as I know, we don't get an ability that lets us, like, phase through matter. Like, over here. Oh, wait, 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 wait. There we go, dude. Okay. And then... Oh, wait, no. No, never mind. Shit. Thought this would take us up a little bit higher. thought oh god we fell i thought we had something something for a second we don't <laughs> we don't have a damn thing shit dude maybe if we just keep going forward maybe we'll have a way to come back to it or something it's the only guess i have right now so we got those ones that were down there or at least i think there were some down there we like is it possible to just like jump around this no no it's not i can't tell if there's an invisible wall there or you just can't really do that jump can we okay we can do that but this isn't this doesn't help us at all <laughs> there's there's nothing here for us though Yeah. Uh, okay, well. I'm probably just an idiot. Wait a second. 
Yeah, we come back. We come back over here. Just move forward. I see on the other side there, there's like, like ski lift style hooks that we can grab. We've been down there already, right? I don't think we need to jump down there. How many are we missing? 12. There's a few right there. There's at least two or three in that other section. There's also a safe right there. Might be okay. We might be okay. We might have them all. I'm hoping we do. So hopefully if we just walk all the way around this building. Okay, there's two. We're missing three. Are there three more just chilling here somewhere? Okay, don't blow it up is what you're saying? Shit, there's the safe. No, dude. We are missing one somewhere. Where? <laughs> it's probably one safe. Also, we glitched the camera in the building. Where would we be missing one at? I mean, it could be like in the bottom of the level here. And once we go down in the pagoda. But my worry is once we go down there, we may not have a way back out of it. Oh, they don't have any cream-filled ones? I didn't mean to break the key part. Ugh. I mean, if they don't have any cream-filled ones left that's filled with the Long John cream, then I'll just take uh, a couple chocolate, a couple maple. Or like one chocolate, one maple, I mean. Not a couple. <laughs> I'll just take a couple donuts is what I meant to say. One chocolate, one maple. The unseen foe. I'm going to look up and see because I want to actually make more progress. I'm going to see if it's worth it. Unseen foe. Uh, and a strawberry for Noodle, I guess. Unseen foe. What's this game called? Sly Cooper. Reward? Would it be called Reward? They don't have, like... Okay, this is a walkthrough. I don't really need a whole walkthrough, though. I just need to know. Uh, nearby safe. Guard up as we sneak across the bridge. Exit the thing. Rail slide. Chimpanzee. Please looking to something anything near the tree top. Blah, blah, blah. Once you make it to the Bakoda, defeat the champ chimpanzee. You can collect clues 28 and 29. Ascend the banner to the top where you face another chimp. Then ascend another banner to reach the top where you'll find the vault. 667. It doesn't tell you what the reward is, though. What it actually gives you. <laughs> Stupid walkthrough. Uh, safe. Reward. The total is 480. Okay. Clues 30. Get the two clues. Blah, 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 blah. Actually, a pool of water. Sun makes it through. Destroy the alarm and grab the key. Yeah, none of these actually tell you what you get for unlocking that. Maybe I'll do that off cam camera later then or something like that. I'm not going to worry about doing it right now. Because we already spent so much time on that one level. I don't want to do the same thing again. Uh, like so soon afterwards, you know. Okay. Are you good for me to send you that now, Nate? I know sometimes you have like a different card linked to your account and stuff like that. So just let me know before I send it. But I'm ready when you are, guy. Wait, do we not have three keys? Oh, no, we do. We just have to hit them now, probably. 
Your finger hurts? What the hell did you do to your finger, Rue? Did you stab it while you were sewing something? <laughs> I don't know why, but that's the first thing that came to mind. I have a feeling like you stabbed it while sewing something. I calculated the trajectory of these rockets and I'm 99% sure you'll be able to ride them all the way to the top of that statue before they explode. Hmm. What about that other 1%? Well, in that case, Sly, you will be blown to bits. But the experience will no doubt be spectacular. Nice. Now, to unlock these rockets, you're going to need all seven of the Panda King's treasure keys. Right on. Seven. I'll steal seven no keys. Time. Need to remember that this time. Tiny ass stylus is too small for your hands. You wish you stabbed it sore from holding the damn thing? What the hell? <laughs> Just from holding it? That sucks, dude. Is that that's water, isn't it? So we can't just like jump across. I guess we gotta gotta very slowly sneak our way across using the invincibility. Invisibility. The invisibility. We must have got that for destroying, for defeating the boss or something, right? Because if it was, damn it, spent all that time and then got hit anyways. Because <laughs> if it was one that we got just like by by random by collecting all the clues then we would be screwed without it so it had to be a boss one. Oh, it's a murray one again when i notice a snow cone stand and i think to myself hey murray you gotta keep your energy up so i hurry over here and then all of a sudden monkeys are everywhere bugging me to race them three times around this track for a key you could use the key think you could take them come on sly they're a pack of monkeys how can i lose all right remember you're a hippo. <laughs> Are hippos naturally better at driving than monkeys? I don't... <laughs> Honestly, I think monkeys would probably make better drivers, but that could just be me. Okay, if I remember correctly, yeah, we just steer with the left stick. So glad we get to do another driving section. I <laughs> I just hope it goes better than the last one. At least now we know a little bit of a trick, like use the nitro after the turns to quickly gain some speed. Maybe try to stay off the walls. That would help a ton, actually. It'd be nice if these assholes weren't taking the nitro, though. Damn it. Oh, okay, yeah, no, we're screwed. We're gonna have to redo it. And we missed that nitro. We just got passed by somebody. Murray, I thought you were supposed to be this amazing driver or something like that. How did this guy become our getaway driver, man? <laughs> I know I'm the one controlling him right now, but holy shit. Just another Nitro boost. And another one. Oh. God, I suck. Nitro's gotta be in the least convenient places imaginable. We're on the last lap and I'm so far behind, man. I mean, it's better than the first time that we drove on that last one. The first driving minigame level, we got last pick by, last pick, last place by far. Oh, you did get a bigger one? It's just not there yet? But hopefully your hand won't cramp up really bad after, uh, <laughs> after you start using the new one then. Nitro canisters really don't last very long, dude. I don't know if that one over there is worth going for. You gotta get so close to the wall to even try. And touching the wall is like the number one slowdown here. God oh, damn it. That one would have been fine to get, though. And that one. That one would have been really nice. Grab this one. 
damn it. Let's go, let's go, let's go, dude. Only one car left. To pass, please, and let's... Still got one more lap. We're slowly making it up, man. Oh, God, that's not how you do it. Oh, my God. Come on, please, please, please. Love this game. You grew up playing them. I only ever beat the first one, this one, but I've forgotten basically everything about it, and it shows. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, we kind of wrecked him. We're slipping on the ice. Let's go, let's go. Oh, I think we got it. Let's go, dude. <laughs> Sly Fox Gaming 92. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't even notice the name, man. I just saw the message out of the corner of my eye. <laughs> Congrats. Thank you. Thank you. Thankfully, that was only the second try for that one. I've uh, I've been struggling a little bit here and there. I honestly don't know how I beat the game as a kid. Like, I don't remember really struggling when I was young playing through the game, you know? But, oh, Lord, there have been some sections that I've struggled on, that's for sure. Oh, thank you so much, man, for the follow. I appreciate that. Okay. There's one... Uh, where are we going? Is that the one we just did? That's the one we just did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, and we came through there, so I guess we just got to go this way next. Is there a faster way? Yeah. Looks like we can go up here. Instead of sneaking around that guy. Or using the invisibility to get around that guy. Another racing section. Or not a racing section, per se, but... The, the swamp skip? I don't... <laughs> I don't know how the swamp skip also works here in the uh, the mountains of China, but I guess that's okay. This vehicle is identical to the one you found in the It's weird how, like, in the, the first world, it's... I'm not crazy, right? The first world didn't have any sort of little mini game sections like this. And then the second, third, and now this one here are just adding more and more of them, it seems like. I'm not complaining. They're fun sections, at least. It's just weird. I wonder if, like, they were either running out of ideas as they were developing the game or felt that it was a little too samey after a while or something. Just trying to switch it up. I don't know why, but these guys are a lo lot less scary than the ghosts. Probably because they're a little more predictable with them walking instead of flying. Can I... How do I get over there? I guess maybe we get higher and then we just run. Or, or not run, but you know. Full speed ahead, jump off. Come on, hit the things, hit the things. There we go. Or are we just destroying the base for the hell of it and we don't actually go out that way? <laughs> That's a possibility too, I suppose. Can we shoot those? No, we cannot. Okay. We just have to dodge. Damn it, dude. Uh, <laughs> it's all right. We're going to get there. We have no horseshoes this time, though. Careful not to get hit. At least we got that checkpoint. Wait, can we shoot them? Or does it just naturally break right there? Hold on. For science. Okay, yeah, they just naturally break there. I don't think we can shoot them. We just got dodge. Do they always come down the same way? Yes. Okay, so it's not like the earlier parts of the level where they actually fire them at me. Okay, well, I say that, and then, and then they move. I guess I just wasn't close enough for them to change their trajectory. I have to be a little bit careful. Wait, I think I did blow that one up. Can I or can I not blow them up, dude? I am confused. 
I think I can. I must just have been missing whenever I was trying it before. Presumably they can't shoot backwards, so even if I miss that one right beside me, which I don't think I did, but even if I did, it should be okay. Yeah, he's dead. Okay. I'm assuming I can't drive through these and they won't hurt me, but be careful not to run into them anyways. Oh, good more of these guys. My favorite. Yeah, no, we can definitely shoot them. I'm an idiot. And we got a horseshoe. Awesome. At least we can tank one hit now. Oh, God. I think the problem is because the, the ground's uneven. Like, sometimes we're hitting the ground or something whenever I'm trying to shoot them. I think maybe that's what's going on here. GG. Let's go, dude. So that's what, three, four? Oh no, that's five? Holy shit, this level or world is going a lot quicker than I expected it to. And we've only missed one chest so far. Because I'm most likely going to go back off camera and try to get that one chest at some point. Because I do want to do not a true 100% playthrough. Because I don't plan on doing the uh, the time trial stuff. But I do want to unlock all the special abilities. Because I'm almost certain that I didn't do that when I was younger. And I'm curious what all you get. Some of them are really cool. Like the, the water one and now the uh, instant death pit things not affecting us. The anti-gravity or whatever the hell they called it. Like, those are actually extremely useful. In case you're not paying attention, Noodle, Nate said he's uh, here with our food delivery. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> like I said, extremely useful, man. <laughs> Having that, that thing stop us from dying instantly. Oh god, another car Another her level. <laughs> Carmelita Fox. You must only have eyes for me if you're too blind to see what's going on around here. All I see is a pathetic thief who's escaped justice for far too long. I'm proud to be a thief, especially when I'm stealing from a vicious extortionist like the Panda King. Open your eyes, detective. These quaint temples are a front for an illegal explosives factory. Don't try to confuse the issue. You criminals are all the same, and none of you can escape justice. I feel like, I mean, so far, I haven't actually done anything wrong. <laughs> In this game, at least. I'm sure, like, outside of the game, I'm sure we've broken a few laws that probably warrant us being arrested. But, like, in-game lore, dude, we haven't actually done anything since we've started playing. Controlling the character. Carmelita just has a, a personal vendetta against us of some kind. Chocolate or maple? Oh, I'll come down and get one in a bit, love. I actually have uh, one of my things and we're going to get hit. I saw that coming. Wait, do we need to go down or up? We probably need a pull on this, it looks like. Oh, well, I missed it anyways. Good job. camera angle oh I need to hit it it's a firework I thought it was a grabby thing I'm an idiot we probably could have hit it from the bottom too actually now that I think about it oh hold on hold on hold on almost missed the thingies That was close. Frame rate, please. Do you not see the blatant criminals like attacking me right now? Why don't you shoot them for me, Carmelita? Uh, 
uh, which way am I going? Oh, there's a firework. That one I don't think I can reach. Oh, no. Run, 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 run. Let's freaking go, dude. Good thing she's not a better shot. We'd be screwed. She doesn't know how to lead her shots very well, does she? Okay, we've got over half. She's going to come back any moment, though. Yep, like right now. <laughs> Oh, wait, 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 wait. Here we go. Oh, okay. Uh. Oh, we're good. I thought for sure we were screwed with the window, dude. Oh, she actually has to break it for us before we can go through. Wait, are we fine if we just keep walking here? Yeah, okay. <laughs> we don't even really need to dodge in that section. Okay, then. Okay. Excuse me. There's none hidden over there? Like on top of the roof? Nope. I'm going to end up missing a couple and I'm going to be so mad again. Your grandma loves the air conditioner? Me too, dude. This is the same, honestly. I know we've mentioned on stream before, but Noodle and I keep the house set to like... Not the whole house, because we don't have central air. Well, we keep the bedroom set to like 61 degrees whenever we go to bed at night. I'm sure some nights Noodle would prefer it being a little bit warmer, but... I like it cold, man. For sleeping, at least. Under normal circumstances, I wouldn't want it to be super cold, but... When I'm sleeping, hell yeah. There's the safe. We still need four more. Did we miss some somewhere or are they up ahead? I'm hoping they're up here somewhere. It's not looking good though. Right now it's hot, so you'll deal with it, but damn, cold makes sleep nice. It does, man. Cold's the only way to sleep, IMO. I hate, like, sweating while I'm trying to sleep. It's so uncomfortable. Just wish your feet didn't freeze. See, I don't really have that problem. I know Noodle has that problem sometimes, too, but I don't really struggle with that. Okay, can we go backwards and look for the thing real quick, or is it impossible in this level? It's looking kind of impossible. Wait, were we actually on solid ground there for a second? No. No, we weren't. Uh, what if we jump up here and then... I'm trying to see, like, is there any weird geometry we can use to make it back? Oh, dude, we're so close. Just grab the corner of it. No, I don't think it's possible. Son of a bitch. We need like a super jump ability or something, man. Where'd we miss him at? We might retry this level one time because it was relatively short, I feel like. So we might retry this one to see what reward we get here. Plus, honestly, I kind of like the sections where she's hunting us down. It's a nice uh, extra little challenge, you know, dodging all the shots while we're moving through the level. We're only missing, what, four, two? If we don't find them, though, after this next try right here, then we'll, uh, I'll do the same thing where I'll just get it off camera. Assuming we don't finish the game tonight, which I don't think we will. I'm pretty sure the final world actually does have, like, levels to it. I don't think it's straight to the boss fight. If it's straight to the boss fight, we might actually end up finishing it tonight. 
And in that case, I will just have to finish it for my own sake, I guess. <laughs> or if we have the time, I could look up and see where the last couple things are and collect them real quick. Freeze, raccoon. How can I freeze when my heart warms at the very sight of you? Shut up, ring pig. And still no way to skip cutscene. I don't know what you're doing here in China. <laughs> But I'm sure it can't be good for whoever owns this place. You must only have eyes for me if you're too blind to see what's going on around here. All I see is a pathetic thief who's escaped justice for far too long. I'm proud to be a thief, especially when I'm stealing from a vicious extortionist like the Panda King. Open your eyes, Detective. These quaint temples are a front for an illegal... I didn't notice factory. Detective was in don't quotes. I don't think he has much uh, respect for her detective state, title. you can escape justice. Okay, so where did we miss them at? There's nothing here. Let's collect that horseshoe. That'll come in handy. We got those ones. Nothing up here. Try not to jump straight into the fire again. Nope. Oh, wait. Yeah, we're good. No, we're not good. Oh, okay. <laughs> God damn it, dude. Oh, God. We're, we're about to die. Okay. We're fine. Everything is fine. <laughs> I thought for sure we were screwed there again, man. I'm not going to lie. Can we reach that? Yes, we can. You ready to commit a crime? Wait, what? <laughs> What's going on, Rue? There it is. Right freaking there, man. Oh, wait. Shit. We missed one more. There were two. I thought we only needed two more. Okay, well, one down at least. It's your idiot mother. Sorry to hear you're having trouble again there. It's never a fun time. I don't see... I don't see anything here. I mean, you can. It makes no damn sense, but you can. <laughs> it's very contradictory in a lot of ways, but at the same time, like... Obviously, it's possible. <laughs> Not right, in my opinion, but possible. I'm picking on you, of course, though. I am sorry about that. That's, that's rough, bro. One more safe. Where is this other damn safe? Hope we didn't skip it already. I've been trying to keep my eyes out as we're running around here. Is it... top over here yeah there's like a whole top section right here how do we how do we get to that did i miss it how do we get up there do we maybe we circle back around and I've just forgotten already. Nothing I can like grab here to climb up, right? No. Okay, well. Now, honestly, I imagine that'd be terrible for Oh, dude, it's right fucking here. It was right in front of us. The other one I can understand us missing because we were kind of behind it, or it was kind of behind us, but that one was kind of dumb for us to miss. It was, it was right in front of us. 
Oh god. I didn't realize she could break the roof. Um, but anyways, yeah, as someone, if you don't identify as female, but then are forced to have a birth, like, I, that would, I imagine, suck. Like, truly freaking suck. I can't think of, can't think of anything a whole lot worse, man. So yeah, like I said, it is really weird to support one and not the other. I, I imagine, I don't know, obviously, but I imagine that she's just trying to be supportive of you. But it doesn't actually line up with her personal beliefs. Press the circle to enter the vault code. Multiple blood vessels burst in my brain. You have just disappeared when you start identifying as a man. Yeah, that, that makes so total sense. Total sense. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh. If only it were that simple, huh? <laughs> oh. Alright, what do we get? Is it worth it? No, no, it wasn't. It's just the blueprints. <laughs> Son of a bitch. I mean, I guess in theory that should make it a little bit easier to find the the missing clues on that one bottle that uh or not bottle that that one level that we missed out on. I guess it'll make that easier if nothing else. Just me wish that's how it worked. Yeah. I can imagine there's a lot of non-binary people out there that wish it worked that way, dude. Watch your back, Cooper. When you least expect it, I'll be there. I got something in my eye. It's bugging the shit out of me. I didn't plan on taking a break quite yet, but we might have to take a break now that this level's over, just so I can clean whatever the hell's out of my eye out. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to have to do, actually. <laughs> we still got about an hour left in the stream for the day. We're going to make it as far as we can. Or at the very least, finish up. Wait, we have six. Yeah, so there's one more level. All right, I'm going to try to push through the eye thing. Because if we can beat this world, at least, then I would like to do that today. And then we'll see, like, because if the, the boss is right after this world, then I want to be able to just finish the game. If the boss isn't right after this world, we might call it a little bit early. Um... Just so that we have something at the beginning of the next stream and not just, you know, sh kill the boss real quick and then quit. You can do it. Thank you for the vote of confidence, man. <laughs> I did. I do remember struggling on the final boss. That is the one part of the game that I do remember struggling a bit with. But it's the only part of the game that I remember struggling with as a kid. Okay, we have six of seven. Which one do we still need to get? Did we go... Got that one right there. I th Did we get this one? Maybe we didn't get this one yet. No, that's Duel by the Dragon. Okay, we got that one. Got this one here, I'm pretty sure, right? Yeah, that's the race one. Got this one up here. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. We got this one. This is the one with the swamp skip. I didn't actually want to go in the level game. I just wanted to make sure that I beat it. Uh, wouldn't even bother talking to her anymore. Sadly, it's not that easy for everyone. Just hi bye. <laughs> oh, I see what you're saying. Just like as soon as you come in the house, just hello and then nothing the rest of the time. Holy shit, dude. Look, I know I'm blind, but where are we missing the other one at? Is it behind the door here? This is the way we came over here, right? We did that one. I'm tempted to write a letter describing everything you hate about her, but I doubt she would even read it. Probably not, to be honest. I'd be surprised. 
might make you feel a little bit better though even if you don't actually like you know give it to her or anything like that because that could make things even more rough between you two but just writing it out sometimes can help ah this one king of the hill okay I didn't think it would let us into the next section until we had collected all the previous ones, so that's my bad. Oh, it's another one of these ones, the protecting Murray ones. Use the left analog stick to aim and the square button to fire. Right on. I'll keep him covered. How do we shoot again? Is it X? X. Okay. Just gotta remember, don't shoot Murray. <laughs> And apparently don't shoot toxic barrels near Murray either. Hopefully we don't have that problem in this one. Okay, there are fireworks, so we might need to watch out for like exploding barrels or something. Murray, I feel like you could run a little bit farther away. Instead of just running like three steps and then <laughs> getting scared and hiding. Oh, he has a uh, horseshoe on his back, so he should be able to take one hit. I mean, if we can get him through without any of it, that would be preferable. Uh, Dunzo. Why is this one easier than the first one? At least so far. We're only halfway through. I guess it could get worse. <laughs> is there going to be another dude like throwing shit or... Oh, thanks. GG. Why are you going down? Weren't there stairs right there to the key? Uh... Oh god. <laughs> okay. Oh boy. That part was a little bit scary. Jeez, love. You just get coffee grounds everywhere. Yep, I sure do. <laughs> Even though I don't drink coffee. <laughs> Except for like once a... Once a year, maybe? Like, <laughs> it's pretty rare. <laughs> but it, yep, definitely my fault that coffee grounds are all over the kitchen. Murray, just grab the key, Murray. Ooh, that was close. Okay. Oh, GG, dude. That wasn't too bad. That was a hell of a lot better than the first one. The first one, what? Oh, I thought he died for a second. Oh, okay. The first one wouldn't have been so bad if it weren't for those stupid toxic barrels that, like, he didn't even have to be near them, but if they blew up, he just died for some ungodly reason. Okay, so that's everything. We need to go back now through the grate. boss time dude we should have enough time before the the break is break time comes and thankfully my eye actually seems to have sorted itself out it's feeling a lot better See that ring on the bundle of oh god just ride it let's go dude <laughs> this isn't dangerous at all sure this is fine do we let go when it blows up? Uh, <laughs> nope, it's fine. Just ride it all the way to the bank, dude. Let's go. Carrie Kane of Notorious Cooper Thief Clan. Have you come here for revenge? To steal back the Vivius Raccoonus? That was my plan at first, but now I'm more interested in putting an end to your avalanche extortion racket. Why should you care if I bury a few worthless village in snow? You are a thief. Maybe because you're like killing no, people? No, that's only half right. I am a thief from a long line of master thieves. While you, you're just a frustrated firework artist turned homicidal pyromaniac. Insolent child. You shall pay dearly for your disrespect. Still, to honor your Cooper ancestry, I will send you to your doom with the beauty of my new firework technique. 
flame fool. <laughs> okay. So do we just have to do we just have to get close to him and hit him? Okay, yeah. We have a we have a horseshoe on our back. I think we do. Oh, okay. And then repeat, but probably faster. This isn't too bad. Wait, what's this? What's this? Okay. I was a little bit scared when he suddenly started that new attack up. Thankfully, it doesn't seem like that big of a deal. He actually smacked on, like, both sides of us, which had me a little bit... Okay. <laughs> so that one we need to, like... That one we need to run to the side or something like that whenever he does the... I think he said fiery chop. Damn it, dude. We were so close. So close to first timing it, man. I, that, I think that would have been the first boss that we killed first try. And now we don't have a horseshoe to help us out, so... Gotta be extra careful. Damn it. <laughs> now we need to be extra careful. Instantly dies. <laughs> GG me. Oh god. Got a little stuck on the level geometry there. I mean, it seems like we can take this part slow cuz it, it doesn't seem like he it doesn't seem like he uh chases us down or anything like that. And presumably we can just keep attacking him as long as we need to. And he doesn't like bounce us away until we do enough damage, so. Yeah, it seems like it seems like it's a uh, a damage trigger, not a not a time trigger. So just take it slow. One more cycle. Oh. No, 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 no. Okay. Let's go, dude. Your Take him down. With that cane is unparalleled. <laughs> oh. Sly, I did a cross analysis of the metal used in that high tech blasting vehicle, and it turns out it can only be found in one place the Krakatoa volcano in Russia. That's got to be where we'll find the fifth member of the Fiendish Five. So get what you came for and let's get out of here. Let's freaking go, dude. Retrieving the Panda King section of the Thievius Raccoonus gave me a chance to learn about my technically minded ancestor, Otto Van Cooper. Not known for his physical dexterity, Otto relied on vehicles to aid him in his criminal endeavors. Armed with his designs, I was sure Murray would be able to make some cool modifications to the team. Not van. dead, just, you know, beat him up. A frustrated Inspector Fox, having missed me coming down the mountain, threw the Panda King in jail, thus putting an end to his avalanche protection services and ensuring the safety of mountain villages throughout China. My gang and Aww. I took a little time off and did some shopping in Hong Kong. Thoroughly relaxed, we headed home to plan our next move. For some reason, I feel like there wasn't a whole lot of actual shopping going on there, but uh, <laughs> whatever you say, man. Okay, partner, this is it. A trip to Clockworks Lair. Okay, so, I mean, I guess we got to go in the level to see we were on our if way it's to just a boss fight or what. In Russia. While looking over what little information I had on the final member of the Fiendish Five, I began to notice something. 
In the four parts of the Thievius Raccoonus recovered so far, several of the pictures depict a shadowy owl-like figure, which looks very similar to the police images of the mysterious clockwork. Is this a strange coincidence, or is there something I'm missing? Dun dun dun! <laughs> Much shipping hooned. <laughs> Megan loves her, or Mr. Noodle loves her, Scrub Daddy dude. The road to Clockwork's fortress is blocked. Do me a favor, shoot out that lock for me, would you, pal? Sure thing, bud. Whoa, check out all those mines. Then you can pull them away and clear a safe path. You just got your wife a uh, Scrub Mommy? Is that a sex toy? No, it's a, it's a, I think it was a Shark Tank thing, but it's just a, it's a sponge that gets soft when it's, warm and then gets uh hard when it's cold so you can use it to like <laughs> you have bad timing with your yes there um <laughs> but anyways uh so like you can use it to do like all kinds of cleaning and they have different versions they have ones with like traditional sponges on one side and then like scrubbing on the other side they have uh they have they're in the shape of smiley faces damn it uh, so, like, you're supposed to use the two holes to kind of, the eye holes to kind of hold on to it. And then the mouth is to, like, clean spoons and utensils and stuff with. Uh, I'm sure there's other versions, too, I can't think of at the moment. But, yeah. Oh, and Noodle was super excited about this one. They are dishwasher safe. So, <laughs> you're saying yes to Nate getting on the train? I figured that's what you were saying yes to, but it's, <laughs> it's still some bad timing there. <laughs> what kind of toy is a, scr is a uh, scrub daddy? What kind of sex toy is that? Wrong answers only. Um. <laughs> there we go. Scrub Daddy, Racer Daddy, Scour Daddy, Sponge Mommy, Scrub Mommy. What's the difference between the daddies and the mommies, though? Again, wrong answers only? No, I'm actually curious, though. Probably a vibrator. <laughs> I mean, but, like, the scrub part is the part that worries me, you know? Is it, like, is it a vibrator with a, a, a toothbrush on it? Oh, I guess that would just be a toothbrush, but, like, you know, that kind of, that kind of thing to it? I don't... <laughs> It's just, I don't know, man. It doesn't sound too pleasant to me. Uh, those rocks don't look pleasant. Do they blow up the mines at least? No, of course not. Why would they do anything helpful? A vibrating dodo. Meaning to get one and kept forgetting. Do the mommy has a sponge part? Oh. So the, okay, so the mommy's the one with the sponge part on it. The daddy just has the, the scrubby. Bits. Okay. Hey, Chocobo! Thank you so much, man, for the uh, for the resub. Don't die. Also, welcome to the stream. And if you would, fuck, we died. Um, <laughs> if you would like five votes on whatever game, you are welcome to take them. Uh, just let me know which ones you want, and I will throw them on whenever we go on break or whatever. So far, I think Kingdom Hearts is technically in the lead, but of course, since it's randomized now, that doesn't necessarily mean we'll be playing Kingdom Hearts. But uh, Metal Gear is really close second. I think Kingdom Hearts is at like 11 or something like that. Or no, like 15, 12, 15? I don't remember. It's not too It's not too many. Too much of a difference. Die, please. God, these birds are the worst. Let's go. There's a soap daddy? Wait, what's the soap daddy do? I've never heard of that one. I've heard of the other ones, but I haven't heard of that one. Uh, that looks bad. What? No, we didn't even hit that one. Oh, bruh. <laughs> I still haven't even been able to figure out if there's an actual level here that we need to beat or if it's just get to the boss and kill the boss.
I mean, I guess I don't have to pick Noodle up from work. If we need, like, an extra 10 minutes to finish the game today, we can do so. I guess that's possible. Uh, die. Mines, please. It's hard to describe. What, the, the soap daddy's hard to describe? Is it, like, a soap sock or something? Or... Is it a soap dispenser? Oh, I see you replied. I just can't actually read it right now. I saw soap squirts out the bottom. Let's bump on top to press to get soap on your sponge, or you can pick it up and squeeze. Oh, okay. So it's like a soap dispenser, but you put your sponge on or in it or whatever? No, the scrubbing material they use for the daddy? Yeah. Did I say it backwards? I meant to say this, the, the ones with the spongy parts are the mommy ones. And the, the other ones are the, the daddy ones with just the scrubby bits. You found a video? Yeah, you should be able to find the, uh, if nothing else, I imagine the original Shark Tank one would be relatively easy to find too. So that it is a Shark Tank product. Rue was asking the difference, my bad. Oh, Scrub Daddy themselves have a video on it? I guess that makes sense, right? It's a lot easier to sell your products when people know what the hell they are. Have I died enough to get a free... Uh... Sorry, I had to focus. Have I died enough to get a free thing yet? A free, uh... Horseshoe? No, doesn't look like it. Cave doesn't look tall enough for the turret to make it all the way through. I'm sure it'll be fine, Sly. No worries. <laughs> We've got to get through that security door on the far side of the cavern. The only way to unlock it is to analyze at least 60 of those hanging computers. Would have been easy to get at them if Murray hadn't thrashed our new turret. Yeah, won't be a problem. I can hack the computer's connection coupling so they'll fall. Okay, so they're not traditional levels. So we might have time. We might have time to get through it. We're going to try. Oh shit, I'm driving. Okay. The first one to 60 computer. Okay. We're fine. We, we got this. I don't... God, we're so screwed, actually. I can't see the computers. Okay. The driving's so weird. I don't like it. Freaking slugs. Oh my god, dude. They're so... They're just everywhere. There's too many of them. We're so far behind already. We're like halfway there. Or, I mean like half, half as many as they do. Son of a bitch, that was mine! Holy shit, yeah, no, I think we lost this one. <laughs> oh my god, dude. I mean, we do technically have camera control, I guess, but it's like... Okay, it's not actually as bad as I was thinking it was. Because we don't have to, we don't have to hit the the square button to break the computers. We only have to use that to kill the thingies. But anyways, we do need to take our break because otherwise the break's going to happen in the middle of the gameplay and I don't like when that happens. So I'm going to stand up, stretch, uh, probably use the bathroom real quick and maybe grab my donut. So I'll be back in like three to five minutes, guys, and then we're going to try, try our best to finish up this game tonight. We'll BRB. Here we go. How we get Do not eat, you will lose weight and eventually energy. The red bar shows how much energy you have. You've never played, so you don't, you've never played any of them, Mr. Noodle, really? Eat too much and we get fat, yep, yep. San Andreas is probably my favorite just because of the mechanics and whatnot of the game. Um, but 
I did really, really enjoy GTA 5 from what I played. I just didn't care for the stupid online stuff at all. Like, I, I couldn't care less about the online play for GTA 5. I've seen some, like, roleplay stuff for it, and that looks kind of fun, but the regular game, I just don't care. All you had to do was follow the train, CJ. <laughs> Man, I've never beaten any of them, though, even this one. I've played so much GTA when I was younger, but it was always just screwing around, you know? It was never actually trying to beat the game. It was just doing stupid shit. Uh, yeah, so what other meals do we have? We got the, the like, one slice there. It looks like a, a double deluxe. There we go, the big one. Come on, you got something bigger for me, right? A whole ass pizza, that's what we want. Oh, wait, does it go bigger? Ah, uh, no, we can get we can get a salad meal? You know, you know what? We're we're looking hungry, man. We're gonna get we're gonna get the whole meal, whole pizza, a fry, and a drink. Have a nice, Have a nice cheesy day. Thanks, man. Let's try this tea. I made some tea right before the stream started. Haven't actually got the chance to try it yet. It's a uh, English breakfast blend. Not bad. Hey, thanks for the bits, Mr. Uh, Mr. Noodle. Uh, <laughs> dude just pulled a shotgun on us. Holy shit. That answered my question from earlier, though. It is not uh, showing the emotes in chat for the for the cheer. Still. I don't know why it just doesn't. I, I got the bot working again at least, but some of the things just don't work. So you like it then? The tea? Yeah, no, it's a... Uh... Oh, man. See, I told you we're going to kill us both, or I'm going to kill us both. You should not let me drive the car, man. <laughs> it's just a bad idea. Can we fit through here? No. No, we don't want to. We don't want to do that. <laughs> Look, it's fine. There ain't no cops around here, right? <laughs> um. Yeah, no, the tea, though. It's good. I like it. I don't know... If it really tastes all that much stronger than the other teas that I've been drinking, like the just regular Lipton or whatever. But the blend has a nice flavor to it. I think I would still use three tea bags instead of instead of two, though. You love this game? This is probably my favorite GTA game, man. I really like it a lot. Um, but it's been a long, long time since I've played any GTA game, including this one. The last one I played was 5, and I, I never got around to beating it. I, I feel like I got pretty far in it, but... Mission passed. Got a little bit of respect. Okay. You love this game, Avalon? Yeah. Is this, would you say, your favorite Grand Theft Auto game? For me, it's a toss-up between this one and 5, but... I lean a little bit more towards this one because of the whole stat system. I really like that. San Andreas by far. Nice, nice. Is there anything specific about it that you really like? Like just the setting or the story or... Is it like me, just the stat system, or? I prefer the the setting of this one to like GTA 4. GTA 5, I'm, I, I like the way it's split between three different people. I think that's really interesting. There we are. Helps if you unmute the mic. Hello, hello everyone. <laughs> I'm back. Donut acquired. Donut eaten. Thank you again so much, Nate. It's not your fault at all, but uh, Tim Hortons is slacking on their donut game tonight, man. Not only did they not have the best donuts, the cream-filled ones, but they also put, like, no icing on them. Don't get me wrong. I hate whenever there's, like, way too much icing on donuts. Like, I'm glad that wasn't a problem, at least. But also, like, what's Tim Hortons? It's uh, it's more popular in Canada. And because of that, we have it 
in the northern United States as well, like came over from Canada. But it's just, it's a coffee and donut shop you know, for coffee, breakfast food, stuff like that. They used to carry these uh, Long Johns. I don't know if you know what a Long John is, but it's my favorite kind of donut. Um, but anyways, they stopped carrying it, it seems like. They still make cream-filled ones that are really good, but apparently they were out of them today because they hate me or something. Oh, damn, they caught up quick. We're barely keeping up with these dudes, man. They're just way too fast with these computer chomping assholes. Let's go. God, yeah, seriously, we're just keeping up. We're not even... Come on, come on, come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go. No, one more. Just, oh, wait, no, not one more. A few more. We gotta get 60, not 50. <laughs> Amish oatmeal? What is Amish oatmeal? I have no idea what that is, but it sounds good. Oh, oatmeal cookie. I saw Amish oatmeal. I didn't realize that was an oatmeal cookie. No, I love oatmeal cookies, man. Actually, Noodle, if, uh, <laughs> whenever you're not doing anything, if you want to bring me up an oatmeal cookie, that would be awesome. I eat old man cookies. It's a, uh, it's a fiber one oatmeal cookie, oatmeal raisin cookie bar thing. Anyways, point is, they're really good. I like them. I call them old man cookies, but... But if I don't do anything, Carmelita's doomed. Besides... Stealing just won't be any fun without her. Sly, your ridiculous raccoon logic sends shivers up my shell. But if you're determined to go through with this, that Oh, Rue, you're will the only one that lived? <laughs> no well, hey, at least I joined that one. Jump here, that heist. A rail slide there. I've done this a million times. Alright, uh. So how do we get through here? Do we just, I guess, we just invisible our way through the entire... Oh, wait, no, wait. What's this? There we go. I'm assuming touching the electric balls, though, would be bad. <laughs> but seriously, you've never... No, I answered that. I've had... Is my mic broken? I've had a... Uh... I've had an oatmeal cookie. I've had the Little Debbie ones. I do like those ones too, but I don't eat those ones anymore. They're just too high in sugar for me. Um, but I also eat these Fiber One oatmeal cookies that I call, uh, I call them old man cookies because they're fiber bars <laughs> or fiber cookies, right? That also have uh, raisins in them. It's an oatmeal raisin cookie. They're really good. I love them, but yeah, they're, they're, definitely old man cookies <laughs> but i enjoy them i don't think noodle really cares for oh damn it okay well we haven't yet unlocked the ability to live through <laughs> falling in lava sadly still working on that one. Oh, no checkpoints either raisins are yuck i like raisins i don't really care to eat them on their own all that much but like uh in cookies or chocolate covered raisins, raisins like uh, raisinets. I like those. Okay, we're not collecting anything here. We're just getting through the level. Good, good, good. Try not to fall in the fucking lava this time. I don't even know exactly how I fell in the lava. Do we even need this thing? I feel like we could have probably just used our invisibility power to get... Oh, no, there are there are shooty machooty things. This is a pretty precarious situation we're in right here. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, <laughs> why game? Why do you hate me? It's like those, but with way more cream and way bigger. Oh yeah, no, I definitely wouldn't eat those then. <laughs> they sound good, but yeah, no. <laughs> like I said, a regular oatmeal cream pie. I uh, hardly ever eat those because I feel like they have too much sugar in them. But they are delicious, the little Debbie ones. And I bet those Amish ones would be really fucking good. Okay. Wait, what was I spotted by? Is there a thing there? How have I never seen the spotlight? We've done this section twice now. Uh, well. Pumpkin cookies that come out? Pumpkin delights? I don't think I know those off the top of my head either. Well, if we're already spotted. Oh no, okay, it will still. It will still zap us. Never mind. So are the, the pumpkin delights, are those basically the same thing, but with like a, a pumpkin cookie instead of a oatmeal cookie? Or do they have like a pumpkin filling instead of a cream filling? What are pumpkin delights? I like pumpkin. Noodle and I are actually talking about making uh, probably later tonight some pumpkin ice cream. Wish you still knew if you bought a, you mean scrub daddy? Seriously, that light is, like, right on your ass, too. How did I not notice that the first couple of times and didn't get caught? That light's, like, there, man. It's covering that entire little thing, and quickly. Like, I had to have gotten lucky as hell. Gelatinous pumpkin filling surrounded in a cookie thing? What? <laughs> that doesn't sound all that good. It's the, it's, it's the gelatinous part that I think's uh, doing it for me there, or not doing it for me there. Thank God. Oh my God, we're gonna end up getting pushed in front of this thing. Get out of the way! <laughs> You'll buy a box tomorrow if you still have it? Okay. Oh no, we're trapped! Hi, Never would have guessed. I should have known you were behind this. You got me wrong, Miss Fox. I'm here to rescue you. <laughs> <laughs> you sentimental fool. Empathy has always been the downfall of the Cooper clan. I knew this was a trap! Looks like I'm going to have to do some fast and furious hacking to shut down that gas before Sly's brain is turned to cheese. <laughs> gas that turns your brain to cheese? What? Haven't had to do this in a while. Whoa, okay. Okay, I use the left analog stick to steer and the right analog stick to unleash my hacker code. Those green data packets need to be destroyed if I'm going to get at the yellow security code. Okay. Another twin stick shooter thing. I guess the Sly devs really like their twin stick shooters. <laughs> oh shit, we take damage if we touch those. Okay. Is there another one around here somewhere I need to get? Or do I need to kill this thing? Oh no, there's another one right there. Fuck. Damn it, dude. We've already taken two hits, and we're on, like, the second level of probably five. Oh, my God. I just ran into another one. This is not going well. <laughs> I told you I'm not a twin-stick shooter guy. I've never been particularly good at them. I did have this one that I really liked playing for the N64. It's called, like, uh, I think it was just called, like, Robo64 or something like that. I liked it, but I was never very good at it, though. <laughs> then you can send one to Rue, because they don't have them there yet. Damn, dude. 
there like a health packet that we can pick up? Because your boy's going to need it. Oh, no. We're dead. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, okay. We're still alive. You die on, on, on negative one, not on zero. Oh, God. Too much stuff going on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh my god. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Don't hit nothing. Okay. We actually lived. I'm so surprised we've lived, man. Or we lived through that. I thought for sure we were screwed. Sly, I was wrong about you. Break me out of this force field by smashing its base, and I'll make it up to you somehow. <laughs> I'll make it up to you somehow. Turns around, shoots us in the face. Like, <laughs> take that, you stupid fox or raccoon. I don't get it, Cooper. I've hunted you for years, tried to throw you behind bars, but when you get a chance to leave me in a cage, you set me free. Why? Carmelita, we may be on opposite sides of the law, but you're not my enemy. Now, the homicidal robotic owl that built this death ray and nearly gassed us to death? That guy's on my list. I see your point. All right. Until clockwork and his evil schemes are destroyed, I suggest we work together. Together at last. Aw, dude, he stole my staff. Shoot it. <laughs> Wait, I need that cane. It's been in my family for generations. Don't worry, Ringtail. I'll cover you while you get it back. If you can, make your way to the top of the death ray. I stashed my jetpack there before clockwork nabbed me. Now that we're a team at all, I need to leave your side. Hold on. This truce is only temporary. Once we beat clockwork, I'm coming after you. Really? Well, when do they get married? Second game? Third game? Oh, okay. Now we're covering Sly. That's Carmelita. Uh, what? I, I don't even know what just hit him. Uh. Okay, okay. I'm, okay. <laughs> uh, good shooting, Carmelita. That's. <laughs> okay, try that again. Okay, so one must spawn here somewhere. Yeah, right there. I did not hear that at all. And it takes multiple shots to kill them. Good to know. What? That one wasn't there last time. Bruh. We're going to GG on this. I just hope the game over doesn't mean we have to do the whole thing over again. Hopefully it's just like this level or something. Okay. Gucci, we good. Next one up here. I don't know why they need a first person shooter section in the freaking my platforming game. God, why? Why are you so hard to hit? He didn't have a horseshoe. Game over. Try again. Please be from the same level. It is. Thank goodness. That's not too bad, at least. I was just getting ready to say, too, that it's probably going to spawn someone behind us while we're trying to shoot those, those things that were in our way. But I didn't hear it. Like, I didn't hear it make a sound or anything. Any sort of cue. I'm sure there was one. I just missed it. But, fuck. So next up is birdies, right? Yeah. Let's go. Uh, 
No, you don't. Is that all of them? Oh, thank God. Sinking peril. Is this the last level? I think this is the last level before the boss fight. Oh, excellent. <laughs> let's go. Yes, dude. Let's fucking go. Get some hype in the chat. <laughs> Love seeing it. Okay, well, it's a little hard to climb when you're getting shocked to death, bro. Oh, fuck. Try that again, maybe. Honestly, I thought this was going to be like a, a uh, slide section. I didn't realize it was going to be a, a running up it section. Just like these look like slidey things, right? Like that you would be grinding on. Uh, smash him? Okay. No, I hit it. I hit it. I hit it. No, go. The game even like... Uh... <laughs> Bro. <laughs> it's so weird because like the game you saw it like pop up onto to go onto the, to the thing. And then it, uh, and then it fell again and then... Fuck. I mean, I should have jumped higher. It was definitely partially my fault, but the game also kind of fucked up there. It's like, I don't think it knew which one to put me on or something, which, uh, which spike. Oh shit, we gotta actually jump up. Okay, this is a slidey one. Let's go, dude. Okay, that was a little a little close to the lava there, man. Oh god, we are getting real close. We are way too close to the lava. Oh sly, hurry up. Hurry, hurry, hurry. We're gonna die here. Oh nope, we're dead. I didn't wanna wait, because we're running out of time! Can I have a horseshoe, please, game? <laughs> let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Seems like no matter how fast we go, we always have to wait for those things. I... I hit the button. I guess maybe I hit it too soon. I was too far away. Uh, bruh. I just suck at fucking Sly Cooper, obviously. <laughs> that's that's what the problem is, man. The game is a little bit jank sometimes, don't get me wrong, but like... Oh my god. Okay, that's fine. Whatever. That's... Nope. It's cool. It's cool. Everything's fine. <laughs> Deep breath. Deep breath. I'm getting I'm getting annoyed. <laughs> Lint's all cleaned up, you'll take your canister, please. I said for two weeks, love. Thank you for getting it done, of course, but not yet. You gotta keep up with it. Smash the things. Get on the, the thingy. There we go. Okay, and we're a little bit ahead of the lava this time too, which is nice. We don't have to rush quite as much. Knowing that that one is a slidey thing, not a uh, not a walk up one, helped. <laughs> Game, why did you not? Oh my god. 
Why didn't he grab, like, the thing? Why didn't he go on it? Also, what's the point of the game overs, honestly? Like, it just respawns you back at the beginning of the same level you're on anyways. I guess you lose your p checkpoint, potentially. But, like, at this point in the game, there doesn't seem to be any checkpoints. The levels are the checkpoints. So game overs at this point really just don't make any sense. A relic of the rest of the game, maybe. Or rather, a relic of the past, honestly. Like, they just felt like... I thought we were through it. They just felt like they had to have checkpoints, maybe, because that was that was how games were done back then. Okay, we gotta be careful. We lost our horseshoe. Just gotta just, just gotta jump real good, man. The game hates me. That's that's all it is. The game just hates me, dude. I was I was right above the little thing. Maybe it was too far down or something like too too vertical. I don't know. Focus. It's fine. Everything is fine. We're going to make it up there. We're going to kill the stupid owl. And we're never going to have to replay this specific level again. <laughs> I still want to make it clear. Even though I am getting a little bit annoyed with this section, I still love this game. And highly suggest y'all check it out at some point if you haven't played it before. Because it is a ton of fun. I loved it as a kid. It's really fun now. It holds up really well, even if there is a little bit of jank here and there. There we go, dude. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We're outpacing the lava. Okay. There we go. Aw, oh, shit. I'm so glad we still had one more thing left. Uh, where am I going? Game? Game, where do I go? Where am I right now? What? <laughs> what was that, dude? Okay, that... <laughs> I have no idea what happened right there. I couldn't see where to go, so I tried to jump on a platform. Apparently, there was no collision on it. Where am I? Land of the Dead for real, though. Like, that was broke. Whatever the hell happened right there, that was broke. I mean, I'm assuming I just wasn't supposed to jump there where I tried to jump to, but... Like, there was no collision, no death plane or anything, so obviously they still messed something up in that section. Thank you so much for the five bits, Noodle. <laughs> trying to trying to make me feel a bit better <laughs> because of my annoyance right now. Maybe if you give bits, you'll get your canister. <laughs> That's not how that works. You're not going to bribe me to get your canister. We had a deal, young lady. Oh, yes, that's why. Uh-huh, uh-huh. To make you feel better. Well, thank you. <laughs> Do your little shocky thing. Why does she want her canister and why is she not allowed to have it? Son of a bitch, I did the same thing again. Uh, she's allowed to have it. It's just, it's not something that, like, we need. Right? So it's just, like, it's just extra money that we don't need to spend on it. She's allowed to have it, but we just made a very simple deal. Clean up the lint from the dryer, because she's really bad at not cleaning up the lint from the dryer. So keep that cleaned up for a couple weeks to make it into a habit, and then she can have her canister. Nice and simple. Like, it's not even that bad. <laughs> Sold my gas chamber and destroyed my death ray. 
Do Coopers always find a way to beat me? Always? So that was you in the background of all those old pictures from the previous raccoons. How old are you? Perfection has no age. What? You're immortal? Revenge is the prime ingredient in the fountain of youth. I've kept myself alive for hundreds of years with a steady diet of jealousy and hate. A waiting <laughs> day when I will finally eclipse your very speed. That's all it takes to stay alive forever, dude. Be super jealous and hate everyone. Let's go, dude. Oh god, well. Halfway there, we already took a hit though, and I'm assuming we can only take one hit. And then if I remember though, there is a second part to the to the fight here. Son of a bitch. Oh fuck, I didn't even see him shooting that time. That was me, that was all me. I feel like we move so slow considering that we're supposed to be like flying on a jetpack, man. Let's go, okay. Last 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 thing, it's what the wing next? The left wing, yeah. Let's go, okay. So we should sink down to the lava now, and then I think we have to fight him on foot. That's the part that I remember struggling with a little bit when I was a kid. The when we go on foot here in a moment. I don't get it. You're so familiar with my family. You must have known my father had a son. If you hated the Cooper so much, why did you let me live when you stole the devious raccoons? Because I wanted to show the world about your precious book. The Cooper line was nothing. Ah, well, there's where you're wrong. The Thievius Raccoonus doesn't create great thieves. It takes great thieves to create the Thievius Raccoonus. Enough, Sly Cooper. It ends here. I'll finish you like I finished your father. And the Cooper line will be erased and they only must do me for me. So, dude, Super Jelly, we're a better thief than him, so he murdered our whole family? Like, that's cool. <laughs> Oh, no, dude, it makes this playback from the beginning again. Okay, so we really need to try hard not to get hit. They have a tissue, di or not a tissue dispenser, a dryer sheet dispenser that looks like a tissue box. That's cute. How much is that, though? Hit him. Thank God. Now, like $16. That's not that bad, honestly. Now, for this section, do we need to go through the rings? Is that... I'm assuming... Yeah, okay. Middle of the rings. I was gonna say, can we hit him, please? Oh, that was too close. We haven't gotten hit yet, though, so we should have, hopefully, a, uh, a horseshoe. Shoot his wing, please, God. Carmelita, shoot him quickly. Okay, one more, one more round. Let's go, let's go. Your skills aren't shit. Sink him. Let's go. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. Okay. Ooh. We got this. We freaking got this. Okay.
so this is the part that I remember. I, I do remember struggling with it, though. Wait, am I dead? Did we not have a... Oh, no, we didn't have a thing? What? Game! <laughs> Son of a bitch. I mean, it's not the game's fault. I don't actually know what happened there, but I'm sure it was my fault. Ah, oh, I'm annoyed, though. We were so close. All we had to do was smack him in his stupid head. <laughs> I think the bag we bought was eight pounds. What's that? Do you need a, like the canister? Do you need to get one that fits that amount or something? Is that why you're bringing it up? Please, oh my God. Wait, what? We got hit? I didn't even see him shoot, dude. I'll be honest. Four pounds of sugar and five pounds of rice. I don't know the conversion for laundry detergent uh, weight and, and rice slash sugar weight. <laughs> I'm sure somewhere online you can probably find something that does actually say though, like, like what size container you need for laundry detergent. Oh my God, we're gonna miss again. There we go. Okay, phase one, done. And we do definitely have a horseshoe. I can see on the back. Glad it's not making us sit through like the, the cutscenes every time, even though we game over. Now, if only it would have done that for the, uh, for the crocodile lady. one and shoot okay halfway still got our horseshoe oh that was close three quarters one more one more freaking wave man let's go and all we got to do is beat his freaking head in <laughs> a little violent for a, a children's cartoon game maybe but it's the truth <laughs> Okay. We got this. Just don't just don't fall in the lava. Problem solved. What? How'd that happen again, dude? In the same spot, like No go on the walls. I don't know why he's not, like, attaching himself to the wall in that section. That's what happened the first time, too. Like, I jumped at it, pressed circle, and then he just went in the lava. He didn't attach to the to the blue strips on the wall, the blue dots or whatever you want to call it. We're so close now that we got to beat it tonight. Like, <laughs> there's, no, there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it, man. Oh, Noodle, you asked me to let you know when to cook. You can start cooking whatever you want, love. Because this hopefully won't take too much longer. <laughs> hopefully. Fingers crossed, man. If this fight takes another, like, half hour or something, I think we got issues. <laughs> you can't dodge me forever. I mean, so far, I've done perfectly fine at dodging you. It's just the jank with... Con grabbing onto them stupid walls that's been killing me bro well in 10 minutes when the dishes are done watch that's fine no hurry love okay head next right three and four got him Last section, let's go. Right wing. Ooh, okay. 
Got a horseshoe. Just be careful at those stupid wall sections, I guess. It's not like we don't have to hurry. It's the, the lava's not rising or anything. So as long as we can safely dodge his power beam things, we don't have to necessarily hurry. Well, no, I guess that's not quite true. He did say, Bentley or whatever his name is, did say something about like a reconstruction program that, that he's got going on. I'm assuming this pipe next. Feet together. I will live. Where to? The wing? Let's go, dude. Let's go. Is that it? I don't remember if that's it or if there's it another phase. I think that I might have been it. Snatched that last Fuck piece yeah, dude, let's go. From Clockwork's Claw. I had taken down each member of the Fiendish Five. Raleigh, Mugshot, Ms. Ruby, the Panda King, and finally Clockwork. I'd beaten them all one by one and reclaimed my birthright. Of course, there was no way I could have gotten here without the help of my pals. I know this hasn't been easy for them, but they stuck with me through it all. <laughs> Murray, boy, it took a lot of guts for him to get out in the field with me. I know he was scared, but he's got more heart than anyone I've ever known. And thank goodness for Bentley. Without his expertise, I'd have never found my way off that rooftop in Paris. A guy couldn't ask for a better gang of friends. <laughs> Who could ever forget the lovely Carmelita? Looks like we're not going to be friends anymore. Now that Clockwork's death ray is out of commission, we're back to playing cops and robbers. I thought for sure she was going to slap the handcuffs on me right then and there. But instead, she was true to her word and gave me that 10 second head start. 10, 9, 8, 7, <laughs> 6, 5, 4, Sly, you dick. 3, 2, <laughs> For the love of anything, just sleep with each other already. Nah. <laughs> oh, man. I felt bad leaving her stranded on that giant rock, but I knew it wouldn't be long before we'd see each other again. There we go, dude. Sucker Punch Productions. Let's go. As always, we are going to go ahead and let the uh, the credits play out. Um, see if there's anything at the end of the game. I don't remember there being anything special at the end of the game or anything like that. But obviously, all these wonderful people that worked on the game deserve a little bit of recognition for everything they did as well. So I like letting it play out. Oh, boy. What won the next game? We haven't actually rolled for it yet. I think I'm going to roll it at the beginning of the next stream instead of this one just to give more people time to vote on it if they want to unless you guys want me to go ahead and roll for it now we can we can go ahead and roll for it now if you want uh let me pull up the page and see what the uh votes are currently at we have a collection list you say let's do it i'm not against it if you guys want to now if you do want to though you have uh you have time to put some votes in because we'll do it as soon as the uh the credits are done rolling here but right now we have one vote for the 2005 God of War, uh, 18, or I'm sorry, no, 17 votes for Kingdom Hearts. It has more than I thought it did. And then six votes for Metal Gear Solid 2. So never mind. <laughs> Metal Gear Solid 2 is a little bit farther behind than I thought it was. Shrek 2 has one vote. Uh, as well. Now, of course, with the way that it's randomized, it could end up being any one of those games. Um, but unlike with the PS2 gauntlet stuff, for the games to complete, I'm only rolling on the ones that have at least one vote. I'm not rolling on the uh, on the ones that nobody's voted for. So uh, the other games that are options, you have Bully, Crash Bandicoot Twin Sandy, Crash Tag Team Racing, Dark Cloud 1, Dead Space, Eternal Ring. Final Fantasy VII Dirge of Cerberus, Final Fantasy X, Genji Dawn of the Samurai, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, Jack and Daxter, 
Legaia 2, Mortal Kombat Deception, Shaolin Monks, Pac-Man World 2, Ratchet and Clank, 2002 and 2016, RE4, uh, The Sims, Spy Render, The Dragonfly, Stuntman, Attack in the Power of Juju, Tai, or yeah, Tai the Tasmanian Tiger, The Hobbit, Uncharted, Drake's Fortune, and Yu-Gi-Oh! Duelist of the Roses. Got another one for God of War, one for Bully, nice. Why is this in a different language? Uh, I wasn't paying attention. Is there a reason it's in Japanese? Is it, did it like go anime at the end or something like that? Got lots of votes coming in for Bully. Because the Toro dude's friend has a movie about them and he's from Japan. Oh. <laughs> そして俺様は独りぼっち町の孤児院に入っただがここで素晴らしい仲間に出会ったんだね天才発明家頼れる相棒そう so is this just the intro but this is just the intro but in japanese isn't it <笑><笑>仲間と一緒に俺様は父ちゃんの仇を討ちそして秘伝書を取り返すクーパーの名前に恥じない貴族になれるか that is neat then i don't remember that man that's cool. I wonder if anything different's gonna happen. Like, we're gonna let the cutscene play out and see. Is it? It's the same game now, right? We can just go back and, if we wanted to, 100% it. I don't plan on it, but yeah, okay, okay. It's just, <laughs> it was just for funsies. That's neat. That's cute. We did miss one, one freaking safe in the entire game, sadly. But oh well. Other than that, we we got everything that i care about <laughs> i don't i'm not gonna get the stupid time trials but all right let's go ahead and switch over to the view with the collection list actually i'll leave that view up to make sure i save the game and everything later uh make sure i'm capturing the right window because that is not the right window there we go all right, hopefully you guys can see. All right, I did make the uh, font bigger at the end of last stream or the beginning of last stream, excuse me. So these are the games. The ones in green are the ones that we plan on rolling on here in just a moment. And the ones in gray here uh, will be rolling on eventually, just not necessarily right now. So you can vote on any of those. I do see we already got a bunch of votes in though. So I'm gonna add those in real quick. Uh, we are going to cut off the voting now though. Uh, so Nate has a bully one from one minute ago. That'll be the, the last vote that we throw in. So what do we got? We got a vote for strawberry shortcake. That's uh, not actually on this list, but that's fine. I'll add it in so I don't miss it. Strawberry shortcake. Noodle really wants to see us play strawberry shortcake one of these days, dude. Then we got one for Kingdom Hearts, one for Shrek, and one for God of War. Kingdom Hearts, Shrek, God of War. Kingdom Hearts. That's 19. Uh, God of War. So that's two. And then Shrek 2. So that's 20. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on. Control Z. Control Z. Control Z. I was, <laughs> I was typing that in the wrong section. Okay. I did that one right though, right? Yeah, okay. Good, good, good. Screwing up my own thing here. What I should do, instead of being an idiot, is I should, uh... Oh, God, I'm blind. There's a protect thing here somewhere. Protect, protect. Set permissions. Show a warning. There we go. So I don't screw that up again. Anyways, okay. So we had one for Kingdom Hearts. I almost did it again. <laughs> one for Shrek 2, that takes that to 2, and one for God of War, another one for God of War, so that goes up to 2. There we go. And then we have 
from Nate. One, two, three, four, five. Five for Bully. There may be more, but I'm just going down the list. Four. Five from Bully. Or for a Bully. Get those thrown in. Got another God of War from Rue. So that one will go up one more. And then we have one, two, three more for Bully from Nate. Holy shit, man. You bump that one right up towards the top. Okay. So we always like, or I always like to do an example roll before we actually do one. So just to be clear, this one will not count. We're just going to click it to show everyone what it looks like. We'll click it. The sheet will generate a random number here in just a moment. In this case, it's number five. So if that was the real roll, it would have been bully. We're going to turn it off. We're going to wait an indiscriminate amount of time. <laughs> just some random amount of time. And we're going to click it again. And whenever we click it, that's the vote or that's the the role that'll count and the game we will be playing next wednesday it is wait for it to load drum roll please any moment now <laughs> come on 37 shrek 2 of all things <laughs> shrek fucking 2 dude let's go all right <laughs> so shrek 2 is the next game that we're playing with its lowly two volt votes man that was the <laughs> that was the lowest voted game but it is the one that won the chances of that dude let's go okay so we're playing shrek 2 next all of the votes on the other ones though they do carry over that's the way that it's gonna that's the way that it's gonna work i'm not gonna reset them hence why you guys can be or that's why you guys can vote on the gray ones if you want because any votes carry over from uh session to session i may remove some games like say after playing Shrek 2, I don't really feel like playing, I don't know, Final Fantasy X for some reason. I can just change that to false, and it'll remove it from the from the voting pool. Um, I guess maybe that's a bad example because it doesn't have any votes anyways. But let's say Kingdom Hearts. Let's say I didn't want to do that one. I can change it to false, and you'll see these numbers over here will decrease on the side. So, yeah. Uh... They didn't decrease. I need to fix that. Anyways, <laughs> you get the point. I'll fix that real quick. Um, and yeah, so. Shit. I'll do that as soon as the stream ends, because otherwise I'll probably forget. But anyways, I'll fix that. And yeah, so I may remove games randomly from the list if I don't feel like playing them on the upcoming one for whatever reason. But the votes carry over. So vote on any of these things that you like anytime you like, and we'll get them added in. And next week, we're playing Shrek 2, dude. That should be fun. It is a relatively short game. I do have on the list here, like, how long each game is. Shrek 2 is estimated to only be six hours, so that should only be two streams. Uh, maybe one if we carry over our progress from the first stream um, when we were doing the PS2 gauntlet thing of it. Because, I mean, look, we only did that, what, a month ago? Something like that? It wasn't that long ago. So we may just carry over our progress. That may be a quick, like, one, one stream sort of deal, you know? But anyways, we're already over time for tonight, so we're going to call it there, guys. Thank you so much for coming and hanging out with me for a bit while I, I finished up Sly Cooper. I do appreciate it all. Noodle, thank you so much for the bits. Uh, everybody else. Oh, and the two resubs, Noodle and uh, Chocobo. Thank you guys again for the resubs. Everyone else, thank you for just coming and hanging out. I do appreciate that tons. And I hope to see you tomorrow. Thursday? Yeah, tomorrow. We'll be playing some more PS2 stuff. Bye-bye. Have a good night. And as always, be kind to each other, guys. You get like three completely different dynamics in the game. And then uh, it's just a, a decent way to keep the game interesting too. Like the story interesting. Always playing as a different character. I just wish they wouldn't have pushed the online crap so hard. But I guess I can't really blame them with as much money as the online play made them. I mean, I, I, mean, I probably would have done the same thing if I was them, you know?